Yo. What a stately, what a stately yo today. Yo. That's all I have to say. Yo. Hey, everybody, what's up? Happy Friday. Oh, my God. It's Friday. There are a lot of you here. I'm not going to read all your names. I'm, I'm lazy today. I'm lazy. I don't want to do it. Don't make me read their names. But hey, everybody, what's up? Happy Friday, indeed. Did I post a stream VOD today? I just realized. I don't know if that ever went live. Oh, it did. Okay. <laughs> Jeez. I was like, oh, God. Did I did I send that live? There's so much going on right now. I don't know. Uh, Atrimidius, what's up, man? Thanks for 100 bits. Pump for Kazakasan nerf. Yeah, nerf. It's like kind of better in some ways. It's almost not a nerf. Does anybody have a good, easy graphic to post? Or is my video the best graphics? I don't want to have to watch my video, but I did do some graphics and things. I don't know. We don't need to talk through all these. That's a funny. You guys can see it, but that's a funny. That's a funny thing there. Or I don't know. Stuff got nerfed. Whatever. You guys can watch my video if you want to read, it, read about it. We can talk about it, too. Whatever the case. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely true. It's a buff for me. Yeah, I, I, we can play it in more fun decks. I think it's actually you can play it in duels now very easily, too, because I it was really hard to play in duels because as soon as you drafted any cards, it was like, well, screw you. You can't really you can't really pull off your because like because emptying your deck is going to be so hard. But now in duels, like any small dragon stuff can run because I can put it in some wacky decks. It's going to be good for us. I'm not even sure it's that much worse for Druid. Like, it definitely is a little, because they don't really want to run a lot of dragons. They'd have to make some cuts. But a few good dragons and suddenly even Druid, it's like, man. I don't know. You got to run more than four realistically, though, I think. I mean, yeah, I guess you could still play it at the end of your deck, but you want consistency to play it on turn eight very often as well. Remember, Kazakh's on eight, on eight is still a really good play. I think we kind of forgot because Druid's moved away from that but because or even earlier turn five or whatever it's not quite as good as it used to be with like locusts and stuff but it's still really good so anyway we're gonna uh do sand today not duels we did some duels to start the stream yesterday i need to get some uh some content for videos it's easier to do that with standard than duels right now so till uh my wife's family leaves i'm kind of uh, on tighter schedules here and doing a little less duels we'll, we'll do more duels once the wife's family leaves uh, early next week i'll have more longer stream times uh no sam thanks uh for the 177 bits and yeah grats to wild man seems like you guys have been suffering kalthos seems so insane watching videos of that is just like horrifying uh Wait, why are you mad about that? Isn't that good? You mean you gave into the mech mage dark side or some other dark side? I'm not sure. <laughs> Sir Lancelot, though, thanks for the thousand bits. Uh, Cursed Lopez with 28 months. That's amazing. Thank you, 28 months there. That's nice. Uh, hey, Vox Populi. What's up? Crazy bits and subs, guys. Jeez, already, already rocking a hype train. So I think we'll play more of this today. I actually liked it a lot yesterday. It was winning us a ton of games. It's a hero power mage running Commander Savara in order to get more wildfires. So very few spells hoping to find some bonus wildfires. That said, you don't really need Savara. It's still winning. We found out School Teacher feels pretty good in this list and various other, various other things, so... Uh, Orange Dragon Pally. What is Orange Dragon Pally? Legendary Dragons? Orange the pro player slash streamer? Uh, Mishkar, thanks for the prime sub. Pineapple on pizza. It's fine. I, I would prefer no pineapple, though. You Pretty much always. Uh, Jay Shinnon with the four months. No Sam with another 177 bits. Uh, Alpha Squid with the 12 months. Amazing, actually, Alpha Squid. That's incredible. And Wing Burrito with five gifted sub. My God, guys. Hype Train already uh, to level two, just like that. Man. Kratz, Rodrigan, Gallius, Riot, Sir Lance. Oh, Sir Lance just dropped bits and then also got an immediate sub. Wow. 
Grats or Lance. That's cool. I don't care about pinging face, so we're just gonna play this first. Kinda wanna hold this until we get a Savara, if, you know. We'll, we'll play it when it's time, but if we get a Savara, you know, we can... We can maybe pivot a little. Pirate Warrior's gonna be tough, I think, anyway, though. They might just overwhelm us. Might just overwhelm us. Oh, I see what you mean, though, Sam. I got you. Duels today? No duels today, no. Oh my god, double wildfire, dude. Uh, I gotta use this now, though. Like I said, we're not gonna hold for Savara forever. She's a one of, so it's like you can't really. You can't really greed the Savara. If we find another one, of course, that's great. If not, I think we're still fairly happy here. That's a 4 5. Good god, dude. It's big. It's really big. Hit for three. You could freeze it. Oh, Snow Flurry's pretty good, actually. Yeah, do we want to make that zero mana next turn or just take the freeze now? If I take the freeze now, I'm not really doing much else. It's kind of bad. Could flurry it and just say ping it and then, then snow, snow flurry it set up for next turn. I think I like that better. This is big enough to make this worth it. I want to be able to utilize this discount in a meaningful way. Next turn, I can actually go Wildfire, Apprentice, and even squeeze in an extra ping on something else. I doubt I'd need it, but um, maybe. This will push to three, deal three to everything, hit something for six, maybe just face. Freeze face with this weapon up's not crazy, right? Might stop a Cannoneer later, Puffer Fist. Oh, this poor dude. Oh, this is dying. Oh, God. This is going to look good. It's going to look real good. We did put a sort of bad frost spell in the pool with, for Doggrass, I guess, but not really. I think Flurry is fine. Oh, my God. Savara is even in hand now. Wow. This turn. I guess the question is do I freeze face or not? I think it matters. Cannoneers and stuff are a big deal, so. Let's do it. The only issue right now with Savara is I have to get a third spell. Like, like three spells. I, I'm only at one right now, so I need to find more spells to actually make Savara activate. Now this, this of course draws one. It gets us to two out of the three, so I kind of need the third one. Hey, uh, Bean Zin, dude, thanks for the two months. And Shekavine with three months. Somebody just wrote, just top deck Savara, and you it actually happened. You're a god. Oh my god, here's the two spells for Savara now. <laughs> Although I think we probably would have pinged this turn, right? Seems a little too enticing on that 4-3, doesn't it? I don't know though, man. I could just trade, right? Like, I don't really have to. Is protecting a 3-3 here particularly meaningful? Or would I just rather get another 2-3, right? And stay on curve that way. I think I'd just rather get another 2-3, honestly. I mean, we know Mordrash is done, so that's not really a thing anymore. Oh, baby! I didn't just get a 2-3. This was way better. I hit the 1 out of 3 there. I had 3 spells, right? That's nice. This is a much better line. I now get a 4-5, sort of. Ah, the Cannoneer. Yeah, the freeze may have mattered. Okay, that's play two pirates. Normally, they next next uh, next week, they won't have a Juggernaut here yet. Yeah, never mind. They'd still win. <laughs> never mind. They'd still have it. Oh, this is gross, though. God. That's so gross. Hope if they snipe both of these, they're going to be so mad. Okay, if one survives, that's good. This would also die to a, do a, to a ping next week, right? So there's a couple... We're seeing a couple lines here unfold. So Savara is... Oh my god, has Savara got one more left? Oh my god, dude. Savara. I guess I put this in, right? It's kind of greedy to not play the barrier, but I want the Savara to be just juiced. Juiced. There's two wildfires in here now. It's gonna push me to six, but I'm just gonna die. <laughs> I don't know, man. This may not be right still. <laughs> I don't know, guys. I'm juiced. 
I need to start pinging face and race, right? I can actually ping the the Rokara. No, I can't. I'm at six. Never mind. I can't ping the Rokara. Do I just ping face? I have Dawn Grasp to stall and Barrier to stall. I think I just start pinging face, right? Six damage? <laughs> I don't know, man. It's debatable. They have a lot of damage too, right? As soon as they get a smite in particular. Or if every ping goes face. Dawn Grasp to stall. Dawn Grasp is going to be... A seven. Could ping here, maybe. Oh, could even higher with the other if it casts a wildfire. Oh, it is gonna cast a wildfire, yeah. I'm just dying now. This this if this freezes Rokara, I'm looking at who knows how much damage. Uh, dude, they have too much armor because of this idiot. Cone of cold. Ugh. Ah, uh, this guy's just ruining my plan. Why do they have an armor gain card in pirates? Cone of cold is staggered. Like, ugh, so gross. I don't know, man. This is brutal. You want to cast a spell? I want to cast a spell. Oh! Oh! This doesn't let me ping, though. Would I rather just bury your ping? Am I dead, usually? Sometimes, yeah. But it helps me win the game more, I think. Not really, though. I don't know. I think I'm just screwed. I don't think I can catch up here. Dawn Grasp, I mean, if, if Dawn Grasp hits Blizzard, that's great, but I don't see how to win. Seems out of reach. Dawn Grasp could hit Flurry, of course, instead, which is bad. It's just too much stuff. Uh, if they hadn't gained a lot of armor, I, I would have tried to race. I don't know if I would have gotten there, of course. It still would have been pretty tough, I think, but just gaining five armor per turn is brutal. Like, how do I win now? Well, Blizzard's better than Barrier, so let's go ahead and Dawn Grasp. We don't, if we don't hit Blizzard, obviously we're totally screwed, but. You, are you, Stay where you are. are you joking, dude? I ruined orbed my own face. Did freeze the right minion, can I? I'm still dead, right? <laughs> like, of all the targets, dude. <laughs> there's, there, dude, there's eight targets on board, and I hit my own face. Like, come on, dude. I'm still dead. This is stupid. Uh, okay. Uh, Gavinator with the six months. I don't know if I got that. Shiruti says only six weapons in standard. Yeah, I know. They're, it's insane, the consistency of the weapons right now. That's this deck's real strength is consistency. That's why it's so good at lower ranks because you don't even have to play it especially well. You don't have to mulligan super well. It's just consistent. It just wins. If you play it at all, it's going to get to where it wins, right? You don't have to manipulate it to its win condition or end the game state. It just gets there, which is great for, for lower ranks. <laughs> I must protect the Fire Lord. You asked for it. Okay. Uh, babbling book's cool. We can keep a Talon, yeah. It's a little expensive for this deck, but it, it just plays our condition so well that... It's all right. Two babbling books is even cooler. Let's go. I guess I'm hype train finished, guys. I got distracted by that game, but thank you, everybody. Pretty crazy start there. Ooh. First damage incoming, dude. Mordrash, Talon. This is crazy. Good start. It's not a druid! It's a rogue! They're trolling us! You want to cast a 
<laughs> Druid's running SI7 extortion, folks. <laughs> That's wild. Did I craft golden Talon? Isn't he just golden from the core set, I think? Didn't he? Didn't he? I don't know. I think I just got him from core set. He's still in core set, so he, he... I think he just passes along the goldenness, doesn't he? It's a ruse! <laughs> I don't think I crafted Golden Talon to answer the question more directly, but I don't know why I have it. I think it's just Corset stuff. Wow, that's good. Three mana Rat King already. Jeez. Seems strong. <laughs> Shattering Blast seems unlikely for us. Siphon Mana. Gift of Ashara. We're not going to get two cards, but is one card just fine? Yeah, probably. I don't know. I think Siphon Mana was a reasonable choice as well. <laughs> you get golden neutrals from winning games? I'm surprised I have any of them. <laughs> <laughs> why do I have why do I have this though? That can't be right. That can't be right. <laughs> you gotta win five thousand games to get all these? That's definitely wrong. I've only won like three games my whole life. Ah, oh, I should have taken siphon, dude. Would have been pretty good here. Would have been pretty good. Reckless isn't really terrible. I can trade and Clear that 3-2. It's not exactly our dream reckless or anything, right? We don't have wildfire action yet, but it's fine. No need to hurry on the Talon either for that same reason, right? Because uh, we don't have the activation yet, so. I mean, I guess we're at like four already, though. Or was that three? No, that's four. So we're getting halfway home. Almost. If I ever thought about music in the background for Twitch streams, I have, but it seems like such a terrible idea. <laughs> uh, I, I've never understood that. Why would I want to force my music choices on, you know, hundreds of viewers, like 500 people? Uh, not all 500 people are going to have the same music choice. So why can't you guys just play your music in the background? If you want music in the background of the stream, just pull up your preferred music choice, you know, your music type. I don't want to dictate your music choices for all, like, if it was, nobody's going to want the same music. So I'll end up annoying 80% of the people to make 20% of the people's lives marginally better. But at the same time, you guys can just play your music if you like music. I, I just never really got it. I, and I don't even have any, like, particular music preferences anyway, to be honest. I'm not, like, a big music guy, so I wouldn't even have good, good options for you. So, I'll, yeah, I'll be honest, I just never really understood it. I, it works for some people, for sure. There's a lot of streamers who do it, and it seems to be great, but... It always just... It's my turn. Left me a little puzzled. Alright, we can kill this. Probably just freeze the, uh... Crab here. I don't... I guess I could fireball the crab. Kind of like that fireball going face, because we're getting... We're getting a more dress soon, like... Some reasons to send that fireball face, I guess. What to do? This is what to two do? mana, at least five for a barrier and a rune orb. Let's just see what this does. Hot streak. Could use this to destroy the crab. I'm not super excited about that play, maybe, but. Hot streak to get a fireball alongside a Mordrash on 10 is a possibility. Runs out on me. Yeah, I'm not that worried about the crab yet, so I think we'll just take this one pretty chill. Ooh, Polymorph, okay. Exciting. I could kill the Rat King. Favorite music genre? genre. Uh, anything by Hanson. I just listened to Mbop. Is that the name of that band? I can't, somebody wrote Mbop in chat, so I thought it was a funny meme. <laughs> just, just my favorite genre. Is it Hanson? Is that their name? Man, I'm blinking. That's my favorite genre, though. Just Mbop. 
That's funny. Hanson. Okay, that is it. Good. Not, not losing my mind. That's always a, always a nice relief. All right. Do I trust in this or is he just Mass Poly? I think Mass Poly looks pretty good, right? It doesn't affect the Rat King, unfortunately. I need to activate this first. I really want to hit the Rat King, but... Am I that worried about it? I mean, you know, Rune casts Mass Polymorph anyway, right? So... Oh, that's actually a good start. Well, it's okay. Yeah, maybe less good. Oh, that's good. That's all right. Um, oh, uh, what was that last one? I missed it. Oh, okay. Gave them a weapon and a rat king. So I would say debatable, <laughs> debatable. I mean, I, you know, I netted a four, four and an Oasis ally. So I guess that's okay. Hello, Mrs. Kilby. Your hair is just like, look like a, look like a, like a, I don't know. Just like a goddess. Like your hair is just floating in the wind. What's up? You gotta take a nap. Okay. That sounds fun. I'm jealous. Maybe I'll just take a nap on stream. So ping. Polly might be good again. Oh, hold up. How many minutes are they getting here? Let's see. Oh? <laughs> yeah, Polly looks great. Okay. Uh, Polly looks perfect. Three awesome minions to Polymorph here. Four minions to Polymorph here. That one's not quite as awesome. I love this person's deck, dude. Just Burgle, Colossus, everything. Just give me this deck. I want this deck. I'm jealous of this deck. Let's kill the Rat King. <laughs> Too dangerous. You might accidentally sleep talk and leak Blizzard secrets. Well, I didn't. I don't know any Blizzard secrets right now. I know literally nothing. So this would be the safest time to do it. <laughs> I don't know anything. You guys know everything I know. I didn't even know the nerfs were coming today, or the announcement anyway. You're ahead of me. <laughs> This always drawing uh, wildfire. No, we got ignite in there now. Otherwise, it would be. Hmm. Oh no, rune orb still too. Okay, that's fine. Pretty good reload there, man. That pride fury is pretty clutch. To do. Uh, we do have a mass poly though in the dawn grasp, right? So, oh, but we have a rune orb as well. It's a 50-50. Yeah, let's just try it anyway. Do I have a frost spell? Did I play a barrier earlier? I'm missing a barrier, so I'm thinking I must have. They're both gone, only one in hand. I don't know. Whatever. What's you wish to match wits with me. That's exactly what someone who knows secrets would say. I really don't. <laughs> I promise. They don't tell me anything. Ah, uh, we didn't get the poly. Okay. The sun sets. The sun sets. Is this three or four? Four. Nice. Okay. Now it's six, baby. We'll kill that. Uh, Mordrush is ready, so that's another opportunity. Just hit for 16 face. Well, I, I was going to plan on playing the fireball, but now the hero power does just as much damage. Okay. that's They're both too bad to deal six. All right. Deal. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Uh, Rav Amino, there, there's a dust reward for that, if you look. Uh, stash again. Okay, surely Mordresh will deal with this, right? Oh, nice! Free with damage. Rides Fury a little early that time, but still the right breakpoints for us. Oh, never mind. Oh. Wow, I like it. They're gaining so much armor here, which makes sense because they're kind of dying, so I get it. Uh, alrighty. I don't think you ever wait on Mordrush too long, right? You want to wanna get that 8-8 on board. Want to get that damage through. I have 12 set up here for next turn, so looking good. 
This deck is working shockingly well as a hero power mage. I don't know that it's working super great as a Commander Savara hero power mage. That is yet to actually uh, materialize super well, but we're winning a lot of games just as a mage. Surprised how much we're winning just as a mage. Oh, that was a good roll to protect from Mordrush, but looks like it will leave you dead. Clutch Fireball. Ooh, bonus. Moist muffins, GG, buddy. Fireball's still good at killing people, yeah. Turns out. Pretty good. Okay. Are we ever gonna see Savara? Oh, hey, P-Funk. P-Funk, that's hard to say. Thanks for the prime sub, P-Funk. Greatly appreciated. Wasted 1k dust. No, you didn't. Here, I'll refund it. I can find it. Mm, I don't know where it is. I can't find it. <laughs> Maybe you did. I'm sorry. I think a highlighted message is actually non-refundable. Ooh, this is the hand. Yes. Okay. So Vara Wildfire in hand. I'm going to keep school teacher too. That's pretty good. Uh, that's fine too. That can help me get a wildfire sometimes. Oh, coin is a little less exciting for Savara. Although, I don't know, I guess it's not so bad, really, if we got a coin for Savara. Free innervates aren't terrible. <laughs> uh, we can go ahead and wildfire on one now that we have a reason to do it. This is probably Ramp Druid. Looks like Ramp Druid. Is Babbling Book going to give me Wildfire, guys? That's the real question here. Mm, could easily put a Rune Orb in the Savara, too. It's definitely not the worst. Not the worst. But let's just hang tight, because what's the hurry? If we win this game, I'm hoping it's over the top later. Mordresh can be a clear on big 8-8s and stuff. Uh... Yeah, this is actually getting pretty likely to hit Wildfire at this stage because we're drawing a lot of our natural spells. It's not guaranteed, of course, but more likely. Yeah. Sad. Sad day. Uh, hey, Wing Burrito with a gifted sub to Ravamino. Thanks, Wing Burrito. That's awesome. Saving the day. Just resting my eye. School teacher feels a lot worse than a 4 4, doesn't it? Oh, hey, this is another roll at Wildfire. And Mass Poly is actually good too if we get it, so. And Barrier's fine because we get 1-1, one, one, so I really can't go wrong here. Can't go wrong here. Nice! So I'll just coin Savara next turn and double Wildfire, probably. I mean, I don't mind getting coin in there, right? It's fine. I guess I could try to babbling book first into another Wildfire. That would be the most giga high roll in history, but it's not impossible. Am I going to be able to win, though? This druid's got off to a wicked start, man. Yeah, <laughs> well, I don't know. I lose ping if I do that. I'd rather probably ping here, right? Yeah, let's not get greedy. Coin is totally fine. I do want to be able to ping these off. There we go. Two extra wildfires, baby. Do I coin one now? I eh, don't see the urgency. Let's just wait. <laughs> I love it, Samara. Thanks for the wildfires. It's beautiful. That's that's three and four here. That's great. Imagine if I had a brand, dude. There's going to be very few games where you can be greedy enough to brand the Savara into two extra wildfires. I think we need to play like a control warrior or something that just gives us all the time. 
Even Priest now usually has like better wicked issues than that with Mill and and everything. What are you looking at me for? You look funny. You look funny. Did you buy anything fun today? Yeah? I can't wait to hear about it. Oh, not the little uh, round guy? Oh. That'll be fine. Well, okay. This hits Mass Poly, which is definitely a card I want for later. So I'm thinking about playing it, but this is a pretty intimidating board. I might, I might need to like rune dorb through this somehow. Let's look for an AOE. Definitely want to ping to get more Dresh closer as well, if I can. Oh, Deep Breath is too expensive though, right? No, let's just take a Flurry. I don't know, I guess I just set up for more Dresh next turn here, right? I can push five. He needs five, so. Feels weird. Do I ever ping face? I don't think I die, so yeah. Let's ping face. I guess an Onyxia here would be kind of weird, because the eight, eight would be a pain to deal with. But otherwise, Mordresh here should be fine. Who's I wonder if I signaled board? that I'm Mordreshing or not. I don't, do I actually need to save Mordresh for the 8 eights? Is another question. Uh, I don't know. That's a good question. I mean, I like hitting for Ted with, with, uh, we've got this crazy hero power loaded up now. But at the same time, they do have like earthen scales and stuff. So I can't, I can't go totally early. I have to be a little careful. Maybe we'll try to find another answer next turn. Rune Orb face, and, or maybe just Rune Orb a 2-1 again. Look for like a Kona Cold, might be a little more enticing. School Teacher have anything good in it? Kona Cold, I guess. <laughs> it's like, do I go for the 8-8 more dredge? Like, the 8-8 is pretty threatening against Druid, to be fair. But I lose the ability to clear my own 8-8s, right? If I go more Dresh now. I would need four pings to win minus any any clears. They'd have Onyxia to clear the more Dresh pretty easily. I don't think I go for the more Dresh just yet. I think I either use it for some more lethality or... This feels bad, man. There's not, not a lot, not a lot of room left to spend mana. Let's start here. <laughs> like Garino coming in with the clutch realization. I just got it. School teacher, school of fish. Yep, they are indeed a teacher of schools. Oh boy, this is not really what we were looking for either. I'm gonna die, man. Wow. I don't know, man. This is bad. I don't know. Maybe we should have just gone more Dresh. Just literally putting the 1 1 in here to just eat a minion, right? Obviously, that's not the clutch snap freeze target. <laughs> this deck's not really known for a lot of burst damage, but I wanna have some leeway. You know, I might need to, like, leave an 8 8 on board later in the game. And if I'm if I'm at eight, I can't really do that, right? So just trying to create some leeway. Here we go. This is what we were waiting for. Oh. No, never mind. <laughs> I really need mass polymorph, dude. <laughs> really need that mass poly. I can't even play it with deep water. That's eleven mana, so. Uh just please draw it naturally, please. Please, 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 please. Oh boy. That's 42. I can trade into it. It's a 1 out of 16. That's a little better than probably Babbling Book. Uh, we might be able to hit a good flurry. Can I guarantee the flurry at all? Like, Mordrash flurry is pretty good. Buys me a turn. I want to try to trade first. I could still coin the Mordresh Flurry, so I can... Let me trade first, see if we can hit it, and then... We'll go coin Mordresh Flurry. What to do? What to Clearly not what I was looking for out of the Mordresh, but if it's all we got, we gotta make the play. 
Let's hit the polymorph though. It's easy. Not quite. That's that's interesting backup plan though. Okay. I mean, can I just eat these next turn, right? Like, if I don't draw the mass poly, this is ten damage. This must be the way. I need eleven and three in that case, so not quite. I guess two of these would be pretty nuts. Well, no, it'd still be like one off, wouldn't it? Damn. Can try to use a tail in two to block if I need to, right? If like these are the only two minions, maybe I just like tailing up and clear the eleven health one. Oh boy. That's gonna stop the tail in, that's for sure. Uh, I need Mass Poly, dude. It's my only out, right? Oh, Varden buys me a turn, actually. Uh, and then I can draw the Mass Poly here. Oh, it might be a barrier, too, though. Oh, my God, dude. Mass Poly? Okay. Come on, baby. Mass Polymorph, baby. Come on, baby. I need. I actually need it this turn. I can't do this again next turn. No! <sighs> Running out of time. I can't. I can't evoke her into it. If this were a Frost Weave, I could. Oh, boy. I mean, obviously, this is not enough. <laughs> this is 42 damage. So <laughs> I gotta naturally draw it, I guess. I don't know. It's really brutal. Yeah, I think that's actually just game over too now. I don't know if I can get there now. Even with the mass poly, it's like, how do I get there? Um, this is this drawing mass poly is my only shot, right? This guaranteed draws it. We had a 50-50 last turn. I missed the 50-50, but I don't have mana. That tradable early is gonna come back to haunt me now. If I like freeze a 22, can I kill the other one? Like, oh. no, because I'm using the ping to freeze. Well, actually. Apprentice hits everything for five. Trade, trade, freeze this one. I'm really only left with an 88 on board. That's okay. Six. I can even play a barrier in that case. Oh, actually, I can play an evoker in that case. Mm. Well, this is shockingly okay. I can take a Better than I expected. Wait. I mean, I guess to some extent the mass polymorph is losing some utility here, but. That's fine too. I mean, it's still a 12, a 12 health dude on board, right? So. Oh no! I shuffled him in the. Oh, that trade! No! That trade's coming back to haunt me so much, dude. Like, yes, I got some great armor, but no, this trade is killing me. That one mana, the. Oh my god, dude. It's so brutal. I mean, again, though, I might just be able to deal with this organically at this stage. I have five here. But how do I beat Kazakhstan, right? Like, that's the next wave of this problem. I have a whole nother wave of problem, which is Kazakhstan. And a giant miracle growth. <laughs> that's another issue. Uh, another reckless here would be pretty good, actually. That would definitely help melt this board some. Oh, wow. True to the reason, dude. Greedy. I still haven't killed Naga Giants either. Any dragons here that help me? Like, Onyxia is pretty good, I guess. Just as an 8-8 rush. That rope's burning again. Just so much mana commitment, though. Uh, what does Dongrasp have right now? Wildfire, Barrier, Flurry, Rune Orbs, right? Like, handful of stuff. Ah, uh, there's the Giants. Okay. Yeah, I need Mass Poly again, for sure. <laughs> it's not even... Not even close. Yeah, that's not a mass poly, unfortunately. I think I'm dead, right? It's just too much. You can kill the 22, but then they still have more than enough for lethal, right? 
Uh, Reckless doesn't feel like it'll be enough either now. So let's try this again. I don't have any minion tutors left, right? <laughs> or, or spell tutors, so I think I'm safe to trade it this time. Uh, Mass Poly, please! Zola, Reckless, Bran? It's too much mana after the trade. Zola, Reckless is enough. Five. Leaves that at seven. These at three. Man. If only, dude. Can Zola this into either of the spells again, but they're too much mana then. I only have six mana left. I just gotta try to draw it again, I guess. That's not enough. Snow flurries, not enough either, I'm guessing, right? Sure doesn't feel like it's enough. This is not what we stood for. I don't see how. 19 i guess currently actually maybe it's technically enough probably not but maybe technically man if i had one more mana imagine how insane that would have been i could have gotten double reckless to hit for 10 on board oh would have been nuts actually would have been insane um, everyone makes mistakes uh did they have a clear on that <laughs> oh wow that's lethal <laughs> that'll do it i love silencing the ivis it's funny consequence this is a close game dude hey tnt dude thanks for the 13 months man <laughs> Okay, well, yeah, Savara never seems to win, guys. Druid's hard to beat, though, man. Druid stuff. Yeah, where was that Mass Poly, dude? Mordrush early. I don't think it's Team Hunter we ever keep Mordrush early. That's not the pick. Uh, we will definitely keep a Wildfire early. We can keep a Babbling Book early. You asked for it. Okay. Barrier against Team Hunter is pretty good. Oh, hey, this is Captain Amber from chat. Hello, Captain Amber. No need to wildfire just yet, so. Although, I say that, but there actually kind of is. Oh, no, not this again, dude, no. There is, because they play two health minions sometimes, like, uh, but I could always ping and trade. Unless they coin a hero power on their attacky guy. They're a tacky guy. That's his official name. People hate Druid in chat, it seems. I get it. It's really hard to beat. <laughs> you need specific things to beat Druid. Well, seems like they're not super aggro -y. Seems like more of a shenanigan-y deck. I don't know how shenanigan-y, but at least a little. Wow. Coin need for greed already. Jeez, dude. Uh. Yeah, I don't think it feels right to wildfire just yet, because... I'm not really wanting to ping or anything. Let's just get the mana filled here. We'll play Evoker here. I wonder if I trade in the Drake Fire first to get a potential tin armor. Or would I rather just hit wildfires? Good question. Yeah, this feels more like a Stheno deck. Yeah, more shenanigan -y, right? Wow, three mana I... Dawn Grasp. Interesting. No way you can take this ship. Two armor? Get out of here. Where is Mass Polymorph? I don't need it this game, so. Oh, big Demon Hunter stuff. Oh, Savara in hand. Interesting. 
Oh man, even Zola Savara. I guess that's actually not very good though, in hindsight. <laughs> so never mind, scratch that. <laughs> not a great plan. Um, okay. Need more wildfires, by the way. You wanna cast a spell? I want to cast a spell. Okay. We don't mind putting a rune orb in the Savara, that's fine. We we just can't afford to be super greedy with the Savara, I think. Uh yeah, gift is probably better. I need card draw. Ignite's a little greedy. Let's take Gift. I actually kind of want to avoid fire spells. I may have to play Volcanomancy to activate the Savara. Although, I don't know. At the same time, I might just play Gift, actually. I don't really need two off this. I guess I could play Zola and fix that problem. In fact, I could Zola the uh, Deepwater here and try to hit the Wildfire again. It's pretty... Ugh. Ugh! Excuse me? Excuse me? Now I need to hit a mass polymorph, dude. It's gross. Oh. Oh! Oh! Uh. Oh! I have a little bit of a debate here now, though. Like, do I need another mass polymorph since they're a big deck? Uh, what to do? We know that their minions are going to be capped at six mana, right? So they can't be that big. For this combo to work, you need six mana or less minions. Because uh, seven mana will go to four and break Drek'thar. So, by the way, good job hitting Drek'thar and Vandar early, man. That's actually wild. I'm wondering if he has um, Abyssal to get both of these consistently. He didn't play it, but it seems like it. Uh, yeah, let's not get too greedy here. I'm gonna mass polymorph next turn. I just want to play the Savara for the wildfire now. Getting extra stuff here is gonna be fine. Just get the body here. This will hopefully be a recovery. I'm not gonna attack or anything. Let's let him attack. Just get some good resources here. Like I could have tried to greed the polymorph into Savara, but I think that's just too much, too much delay. Also, Captain Amber high roll in here with a diamond Drek'thar, by the way. <coughs> Okay. Oh, yeah, there it was. Yeah, I was right. Yeah, so you run Abyssal Depths to get both of these. And it's nice that it still works pretty well afterwards, too, huh? It's a little bonus. Yeah, I mean, this is certainly a mass poly, right? These things get better later. This is annoying. We could try to greed for one more turn, but I'm going to have... Pretty decent mass poly odds in the uh, Dawn Grasp as well. We've played one Rune Orb, so it's kind of a 50 50, I guess. I mean, is there any world where I just like Volcano Mancy these? No. Well, I don't know. Here's another two minute How much damage is out, right? 19. 19 is too much. I can't take 19. I could just like ping and then it's 15. Nah, I'm just going to do it. I think if we get greedy, that's how we lose. Hopefully, we'll eventually catch up with, like, uh, Mordrush and stuff. I don't know what other, like, good threats are going to be there that are six mana or less, but it, it feels like two Sentinels and a Cairn are, are some of the most significant threats. Like, Death Rattles and Value. So, can, if I can stretch this out now, probably be fine. Volcano Mancy's good at cleaning up these 1-1s. One we can certainly Wildfire as well. Abyssal again, so there'll be another two drop here. Or maybe a three drop if you want. Yeah, Battlemaster's a good good thought. There, there could definitely be a Battlemaster. Because you got six mana as your as your breakpoint. So Battlemaster would be a good finisher, basically. I, I like that thought. Never played Volcano Mancy before. It was actually really sick there. That was cool. Oh, I should have wildfired first, actually. This was a mistake. Uh, because I might might need that damage for more dresh. That was a boo-boo. I think we will be there anyway, but you never know. One damage could make the difference. I don't think I'm there yet, right? 
Whoa, Gangplank Diver. I wonder if that's going to lead into a Smite, since Smite is also six mana. That's pretty cool. Can I actually even play around that very well right now? Dawn Grasp gets me... Oh, Barrier too, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think we have to hope that Barrier's enough here. Right. Don't have any way to get Taunts. I mean, what are we looking at? Six and six, it's 18, kind of. That should be fine. Should be totally fine. Let's just check this out then. It's kind of a bad arcane spell to put in the pool, but it, it's starting to feel like to me that, um, I don't know, maybe he's sort of near the end of his stuff. It, it's it's just feeling that way a little bit. Like he's kind of drifting towards the end of his stuff. Not going to greed the Zola. I just want to draw stuff. This is good. Freezing face might uh, limit some damage output. I don't know. Wanted to hear for this turn anyway to make sure more Dresh is good to go soon. So this seems good for a couple reasons. I mean, I'm at 39. I'm not anticipating any like crazy 39 damage here. I, you expect like 18 with a smite and then, you know, maybe some other stuff. Who knows? But 39 seems a little, a little crazy. So this is a good flame strike. Probably just bury it again after unless there's a really spicy mech to hit, I guess. Oh, well, I guess I could ping first, actually. That's fine, too. Ping Flame Strike will almost always work. Might take some damage from a Mecha Shark, but that's no biggie. That's the Sigil of Summoning. We'll deal with that later. Okay. It's fine. All right. Feels like we've navigated, I think, most of the scary stuff here. Really cool deck, by the way. Really fun. I haven't really seen anybody do this yet. Something we talked about, I think, at release, but since then have not thought about it one time. Cool to see it in action. Savara helped a little. Thank you, Savara. Yeah, just more of that's not really going to be enough, I don't think. Currently don't really have a good answer to this, but I'm certain we'll find one soon. Dawn Grasp theoretically has Flame Strike, but also a lot of wildfires. Apprentice would be really good for this. Oh man, I'm about to fatigue now. Uh, Talon into more dress seems pretty legit as well. Let's just defense up here and. This is not what we stood for. Get ready for more Dresh, right? <clears throat> that should certainly secure the game. He's just running out of steam. The Sharon Sentinels would have given him an extra reload, but the Mass Poly handled that nicely. <clears throat> oh, Kurtris is a good little... Uh... Man, that's a lot of damage here, actually. That's scary. Makes sense to have a Kurtris, of course. Barrier here is good, but man, I'm a little spooked. I mean, I'm at like 18, I guess, or no, 16 maybe? That should be fine, right? I, I, I mean, he could be running more rush minions to enable this. Oh, actually, no, I'm even... Oh, God. Yeah, I'm at the 14, I think. I, I still go more dresh, though. Oh, actually, I could go Apprentice and still clear. Would that allow me to do anything with it? Maybe get like a, uh, I don't know, a school teacher in there or something with another ice barrier is a possibility. Although, I don't know, man. Part of me just wants to uh, more dress so that I can like Zola in next turn. I, I think uh, I, wonder. I think that sets up pretty nicely. 14, I'm guessing, will be safe. Seems like the burst damage in this deck was from mostly Mr. Smite. If there's no minions to attack here, I think we'll be fine. Let's just try to end here. I am running low on cards. I need to top deck Bran. Well, I guess that's no, it's not one man or anything. I guess I maybe do this next turn actually, because I can't really play this dead anyway. Man, another four here is scary. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to go with Dongrass, I think, just to hedge some health. Five health is a big deal right now. Playing minions seems like a liability almost. Fatigue is going to win soon as long as I 
stabilized, right? Gosh, Dongrasp leaves that a little out. Man. It's like, this is not going away. <laughs> Jeez. <clears throat> Ugh, this usually gets me barrier, right? Is it always barrier, actually? Maybe it's even always barrier. I'm, like, nervous, though, guys. I, I'm, like, not that alive. Flame Strike would be cool, I think. Five, and then next turn, ten... It's not a lethal yet. Um, do I think I take more or less damage if I ping this, I guess is the question, right? I don't know. Multiple minions enables more hero powers, so I probably take way less leaving it up. Uh, I'm hoping to just like ping Varden uh, Reckless <clears throat> and then ping them to death the turn after, right, with Rundorm is the plan, but I'm I'm very nervous. It's it's shockingly close. I would love uh, another barrier somehow if I could find one. Okay, that's slow, but a lot of potential damage actually. Off hero power. I beam. Oh well not not damage off hero power yet, I should say I guess. That always hits Wildfire, or actually Drakefire Amulet, but that's not really useful to me. Um, okay, actually, let's open with a Ruined Orb here to see if I can find, like, something defensive, maybe. If not, we'll Varden. And, I don't know, we'll just... We'll just see. I think, like, an Ice Barrier is my number one choice. Yeah, that's perfect. Cool. Uh, explosive runes might matter, actually, yeah. So leaving this unfrozen is a little scary, but the barrier kind of negates it again, right? That's my thought. Okay, so I should have lethal next turn, because two fatigue puts them at nine, so just reckless hero power is, um... Man, it was actually almost lethal this turn, wasn't it? Jeez. Should have thought about that, maybe. Could I have pushed a lethal this turn? I guess I had any extra damage. Can't play. This is the same as a hero power, so. <gasps> I'm not dead, right? No way. Oh my god. Oh, he's under 15. No way. It's close, though, dude. Wow. No way, right? There's not like two of those three damage things. Oh, Cornelius Rome is another six drop. Unreal. I love it. Respect the concede. Jeez, dude. <laughs> oh my gosh. Scary, dude. Scary game. That was a close one. Yeah, well played indeed, man. I like your deck. It's fun. Woo! Spooky. Spooky stuff. That was good. I want, like, one more really good Savara game, I think, before I call it quits on this deck. Looking for one game where... Oh, Savara early. Okay, this might be the game. Nice. We'll keep Savara early for sure. I think we'll dig for some wildfires here. Babbling Book's good too, though. Make sure we get a good curve. But Savara into wildfire would be the dream. Oh, very nice hand. Wow. I think I might even open with a sorceress and play the wildfire immediately just to maximize early tempo here. Man, if I got another wildfire, I could coin into a... Oh, God! Me. I'm gonna play the turn three Savara. So I play these on two, coin Savara on three, and it's good to go. Oh my god, dude. You wanna cast a spell? I want to cast a spell. Okay, <laughs> dude, if I don't win this game, it would be so salty. It's like a death rattle rogue, though. I'm kind of spooked. Uh, hopefully my pings keep up though, right? Oh god. Okay, well I'm not killing that for them, that's for sure. We'll go ahead and coin the Savara. Uh, 
Uh, next turn I have four mana, so I can just double wildfire ping. I don't need a coin yet. We'll probably save coin for like Dawn Grasp or something. I don't know yet, but whatever it is. I mean, the three five here even feels pretty good just as an on curve play, right? Like a three five on threes, not terrible. Uh, we can ping off one of the four fours, so that's good news. Might just kill the other one as well. I definitely don't want to activate their egg for them. So, oh, more trash already too. Wow. Okay. This is already five damage. Are you joking? Do I ever just go face for ten? Takes me a few turns to win. I don't. I don't think so. I'm. I think I might go face for five though. Make them make this trade right. But that's just too clean. I think. If uh, it's close, right? Because I could coin a Mordrush here and. Oh, okay. I get it. <laughs> I understand. I understand. Yeah. I I do see it. Yeah. That is one of the craziest openers in the game, maybe. That is very rare, though, to be fair. We've almost never done that. In fact, we've never done that. <laughs> that was the first time. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Dude, that's such a crazy opener. All right, Wildfire Babbling Book opener here is great. We'll get rid of the yeah. Dongas for now. Pirate Warrior is still going to be tough to beat. Now you're sailing on my sea. Uh, we need Savara. We need, like, Reckless Apprentice. <gasps> oh, good God, dude. Good God, dude. Uh, let's actually wildfire on one. Well, no, book on one. I don't need a ping on two usually, right? Because they're playing quest on one. Well, it doesn't matter. Just in case, I don't know. Should be fine. In case I get like a rune orb or something this turn. Oh, Apprentice is good though. Um. Okay, might be a might actually be a control. No, no quest on one. I'm my brain melted for a second there. There's actually other. Uh, there's other warriors. Who knew? You want to cast a spell? I want to cast Fire. a spell. Okay. No wildfire. I mean, against a control warrior, I wonder if I hold for the wildfires here. Like, I could even maybe hold for a brand. You know, it depends on how threatening we sort of think they are, but I could really greed the Savara in this game, right? Anybody? Yeah, runes is probably the most interesting. Uh, Shattering Blast is a little awkward for us to use. This is just kind of, I can play it whenever. And I don't mess up the Savara, thankfully, so. Um, just tip of this anytime. A little bit of value will be fine out of it. <laughs> sure. Yeah, I think I think we might just play super greedy this game. I, but that doesn't mean I kind of have to hold spells for a while if I want to do that. So we have to decide if it's worth it or not. It may not feel worth it. Depends on how, what, like how I can fill my mana and stuff. <clears throat> I can certainly play one spell like an arcane intellect and still have the other wildfire. Or you sometimes just hit the wildfire and that's that's dandy. Uh. Now that's gonna get way bigger. L yeah, let's just put the intellect in. That's fine. I definitely need cards. That's all good. Polymorph. Oh, Brand Zola, dude. This game about to get spicy, dude. Um, now remember the Zola doesn't really work with Savara because when you Zola the Savara back to hand, it's reset. It doesn't have wildfires in it. But if I if I wanted to, I could. Keep the wildfires in hand for the Zola Commander Savara and like do a whole nother cycle after I get the wildfires. Um, it's a 10 mana play. Is it worth waiting for it? I guess is the question, right? Um, it might be. It might be worth waiting for it. I just don't have a lot else to do.
It's a little greedy, but it's warrior, right? It is warrior, so... The greed could be worth it in this particular matchup. I also have hand size restrictions too, though. I don't know. I think hand size is going to make that too difficult, right, guys? Even now, hand size is a little bit of a problem. Because I'm going to get six cards back from the brand Savara. It would be eight cards from brand Savara Zola. I think that's too greedy, right? That's just too greedy. There's just no way. I got to go this turn. Uh, my hand is still actually going to be too full. I think I'm going to lose a wildfire, right? I'm going to have four spots. Oh, I'm going to lose two wildfires, actually. Could try to dump the hand a little here, but man, it's it's not easy. I'm going to also burn a card if I do that. What to do? Man, I don't love that, guys. I don't love that. Maybe I maybe I just weave in a reckless here. That doesn't really help me empty the hand much though. Savara Zola and save for the brand next time. Yeah, that's pretty interesting. Because I'll have the wildfires for sure. Um, that'll still burn a card, though, right? I'm going to be a 10 afterwards. Ahoy, scallywag. But it does give me more shenanigan potential. Just don't know, man. There's a lot of good Zola targets, is my thought, right? So I want to risk burning a card. Yeah, I'll risk it. I don't care. It's fun. As long as it's not Mordresh I or Dawn Grasp, right? I think I'm happy. Any other card, I think I'm willing to burn here. Yeah, I think it's okay. So now the other Savara is going to have even more wildfires. Ugh. That needs to die. Unfortunately, Explosive Runes completely garbage here. That's sad. I mean, Apprentice here will be fine. Uh, Talon's okay. Yeah, Talon's okay. So this is going to go up to five. So I won't be able to deal with Onyxia quite yet. Is this worth a mass polymorph? Maybe. I don't know what else they're going to have. I don't know, though. Leaving eight damage out is not the end of the world, I would argue, right? I think we can afford to leave eight damage out here. I do kind of like putting the Mass Polymorph in the Savara, though. Like, that's pretty fun, too. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Uh, I think I want the Wildfire on the first pull, so that I'm more likely to get it back in hand if my hand is full, right? I don't know, that's perhaps a small optimization that may or may not matter. You, you might argue you want Polymorph back, actually, but debatable. So now Wildfire Savara, of course, will put more Wildfires in the Savara again. Uh, Princess hopefully resolves this board or whatever. Definitely don't want too much chip damage. This deck might have Kazakasan, of course, which creates its own host of problems because I'm kind of taking a while to win here. So if I wait too long, Kazakasan could screw me, right? Treasures are hard to beat, of course, but I'm also just getting like a billion damage, so... We gonna brand Savara or is that too greedy again? Feel like it's a little too greedy again, right? What's my hand size gonna look like? Let's think about it. This always happens. I need to clear the board. Yeah, I think it's too greedy. I don't think I'm gonna have enough hand size for that, guys. I mean, I can use brand with lots of other stuff, like an apprentice or whatever. Everybody's saying greed is good, but. I'm worried I'm gonna run out of time. I, I think I'm gonna run out of time. I, I just think this is safer. Like we've already greeted this a lot. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> what numbers of wildfires are these? I've already gained four damage. I'm about to go up to gaining six. I think that's enough. <laughs> it's like guys come on <laughs> I need more wildfires always be just no matter what it's always more wildfires okay so now like ping's face of course just present like crazy opportunity 
Evoker, it's usually a two or three. That's not a lot, but good cards nonetheless. I like barriers. I need to actually play a barrier suit. I'm a little bit worried we're we're kind of dying a little bit. This could have like Galvangar burst damage or something, right? To screw me. Shield shatter to clear. That's fine. I don't really need these minions all that much. Am I pinging minions here or am I just going face? I guess I gotta ping this minion. Ah, uh, maybe it's worth an apprentice actually. I kind of wanted to brand apprentice. I guess I could. I'd miss a wildfire if I wanted a hero power though too. Probably just go barrier and wildfires. So that's five. I could play like an evoker and a babbling book. I do want to ping this though. Barrier's always happening. Question is, is Apprentice happening? Maybe Apprentice ping and save one wildfire. I lose a little damage, but I gain the ping, which is a lot of damage back. I lose two damage to gain six, right? I lose Bran, but Bran has other good plays, right? Bran school teacher, Bran Mordrash. If we can what stick that do? somehow, it's pretty impossible. Bran draw, Bran babbling book. I think it's fine. I mean, also though, this, just ping is not terrible here. Just like ping arcane intellect babbling book, maybe. Maybe I'm getting too greedy to go face already. Okay, I don't know. Whatever. I'm gonna be greedier. <laughs> <laughs> it's time to be greedy again. Uh, yeah, it's a little better than Babbling Book here. Mordrash is already done, so that didn't matter from an order standpoint. Not going face when they have the, the free armor up it is actually a good excuse to, to extract a little more value, I suppose. So they go big, we've got Mordrash. Uh, also, just, of course, Mordrash is a billion damage. Uh... Brand Reckless is also insane now, probably. Just hit for 14. <laughs> Seriously? Oh my god. <laughs> I didn't realize it was so much. I'll go Brand Reckless here, so I have the ba the babbling book as well, right? That's kind of a good excuse to, to get that going. It's like a good curve fit. It, it excuses the brand a little more, of course. <laughs> Dude, 14. <laughs> to face, dude, is so ridiculous. <laughs> That's so crazy. And then another 7 as well. Just a casual 21 damage here. <laughs> Just a casual 21 this turn. And then I have 17 more for Mordresh ping. Um. Okay. It's looking good that regard. Another barrier is cool. I think we're definitely kind of turning the corner here to go face, but pick me, pick me. is there any chance this brand survives? It's like zero basically, but you know, not impossible. Basically zero. <gasps> eat this. Oh God, eat this. Oh, that's good too. Yeah, perfect. Excellent. Uh, I guess the question is, do we wait on the Mordrush or not? Like, do I think I'm going to need to clear a board? Or do I just hit for 17 and like really put them on the back foot here? I think I just hit for 17. I don't think we're gonna have any like real shenanigans with this or anything. Let's just keep the pressure going. And uh, I mean, what would I kill? Like a Kazakasan? It's not really that important to kill because if they just play Kazakasan, hmm. we hit for 12, not 17. How do you figure? 10 and seven. They They made him eight mana, but he still hits for 10. Surprise lethal outs. Um, yeah. Oh, they did play a buckler though, didn't they? No, they didn't. Oh yeah, they did play a buckler. Yeah, maybe we wait then. This might not be the turn because of buckler. Mm, guess we take value in this case. Time runs out on me. I really know. This feels kind of bad again. Not my favorite turn, honestly. No way can save ship. Got a lot of ice barriers. <laughs> Just have a lot of ice barriers. Uh, okay, yeah, this turn's a little weak, man. Uh, it's kind of the best we had if we're not committing to Mordrush, I guess, but... 
Yeah, a little weak. 10 plus 7 is 12, Regis. Yeah, I don't I don't know where the 12 came from. Scissors. <laughs> I don't know how you got 12. But that's okay. You don't all have to be on the same page all the time. Yeah, I don't like these much. I don't know. This is flexible, but I have literally no spells for it right now. I guess Flame Strike's the best. Just play. Okay, so we're at 17 now. We're getting pretty close. The seven to face every turn. Dude, the zero power is so ridiculous, dude. It's, it's just a casual seven to face for two mana. It's practically a pyroblast, man. <laughs> oh, I love it. Yeah, that's gonna stop a lethal here, right? I only have 20. Um, I think I'll just build a snow brood in that case, right? No need to force it just yet. Uh, Snow Brute Hero Power looks fine. They're gonna be frozen if that matters at all. <sighs> okay, so next turn we should be fine. They're gonna heal 15. We'll hit for 17, right? <laughs> Dude, I love this so much. <laughs> Rid of the Archmage is plus 20 to your Hero Power. <laughs> I like the way you think. It's 20 wildfires. Oh, that's funny. That's actually very amusing. Okay, that won't matter at all, thankfully. Nelly coming in just a little too late. Yeah, it turns out even Control Warrior can't outlast a 7 damage uh, ping. It's pretty good. <clears throat> Is there any way for him to gain a billion armor here? I don't think so. There might be another natural... Buckler. Oh, we actually never even saw a buckler, I guess. By all the ill-gotten gold. Yeah, sorry, man. I respect you playing Control Warrior, but we're still gonna take the win here. Who <laughs> could have guessed it? We win with a ping. All right, on, dude. Six wildfires is pretty good. Six wildfires is pretty dang good. Uh, if you enjoyed release of Sunken City more than any other expansion in standard right now. Uh, yeah, probably, yeah, for sure. I didn't, none of the mercenary expansions really drove me all that crazy. I liked Barons pretty well. Stormwind, I didn't like much. And Ultrak, I was somewhere in the middle because it still had a lot of Stormwind stuff going on. But yeah, this one's been my favorite so far of standard. All right, so I'm going to take a pee break, guys. I think we're done with that deck. That was actually awesome. We won a lot of games, too. We actually went 7-2 uh, and two with that deck. That's pretty good. 7-2. and two. Not bad at all. We've climbed a lot. But we're going to take a pee break. I'll be back. We're going to play something different, I think, because I got enough for the video there. But give me one minute. Da -da -da. Da -do 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 that was a fun game, dude. All right, uh, gave up on the Glug for now. For now. Hero Power Mage. <laughs> Captain Amber for the Whale Alert. Man. Uh, okay, uh... Let's see. I actually next up wanted to build. Uh, oh, no, no, no. Good, good. That, the inspiration's close, but I want to make a Reno Hunter. <clears throat> what if Hunter had access to healing? Reno decks have been pretty bad so far because Reno is not really enough reason to run a Reno deck. But I don't care about that. I just want to play Reno cards. So I think. We're going to play Reno Hunter. It's going to have, you know, a little bit of a... Uh, probably kind of a big beast thing going on with it, I guess. If you have Reno, you know, theoretically you have enough time to stretch games out a little bit into like a big beast world, right? 
Man, if I got a big uh, seven mana, six and seven mana beast, I could do some cool stuff with Tavish. Right? Costs one less, actually. Well, no, that's not that good, I guess. I don't know. That's kind of greedy. No, never mind. Let's not do that. <laughs> that's too much. Um, so I just want, like, good cards that work with this, basically. Any good card that's a one-of that works with this is a good card for me. Uh, we could definitely do a secret package in there with it to support the early game. Yeah. Because Maneuvers is pretty good with a lot of these minions. That's fine. Although, I think it's been pretty underwhelming for the record, but, you know, theoretically, it's good. Uh, we need good early and mid-game stuff, obviously. Did I get Revive Petal ready? No. Dire Frenzy's kind of fun. Mark Shot's probably okay. Spring the Trap, we probably don't have quite enough secrets to make that especially good. Mm -hmm. Tarantula. I like that it's tradable. It's kind of a neat idea. Tradable is good, usually, I think. Mountain Bear. Uh, What else, guys? What else? Twin Bow, I, I don't know. I, I like it with Revive Pet, obviously, but it's going to be hard to get that off consistently in this deck because we're all one ofs, right? Uh, were there any, I mean, Legendaries in general, I think, are, are good for Reno decks because they just make sense. Five mana, some in a beast. I think it's a beast that's five or less. I don't know if I'm going to have a lot of those. I think most of my beasts are going to be... I mean, there's two here. Is that enough, you think? Maybe that's enough. Frenzy, not good. Frenzy. What's frenzy, not good, Reno? Maybe not work. Frenzy, not good. Oh, dire frenzy, you're saying. Oh, okay. That sentence was written <laughs> like a lunatic, but uh, yeah, it's a good point, actually. I, I liked it later, but yeah, sure. I, that makes sense to me. No, re no real reason to risk it. I don't think the upside's worth the risk there. I buy it. Uh, could do like a Talon. It's... Kind of okay, maybe. Yeah, I know that Shaw is good with the Colossal, but that's a set an 11 mana play. It's really hard to make that happen. It's not impossible, of course, with like Harpoon Gun and stuff. I mean, it's probably a fine minion anyway, so. For a Reno deck, that probably makes the cut regardless, doesn't it? Uh. I don't want one more one mana spell because of uh, Barak Kodobane. I don't think one's enough. Two three mana spells, two one mana spells, maybe. Anything better? Urchin Spines? No. Barb Nets is. I mean, I don't really have Naga, but. Can I run a, a Queen of Shara in this? Not enough spells, probably, right? There's a few for sure, but probably not enough. Uh, I need more early game. I need maybe even like one mana minions. Do I have enough card draw for that? Baldar. Kodobane. No, probably not, actually. Drill! Conscious Call actually is pretty good. Card draw for Hunter in the scheme of things. I need a Naga, though, if I'm going to make that happen. Uh, I can do Amalgam. It's free. Zola's probably okay. Honestly. School Teacher's all right. We could fill in on four. That gives the Naga back up there. Okay. Curve wise, another one drop might be nice. 
leatherworking kit is actually card draw, but it's really hard to activate in this deck, I suspect. They got tracking. Yeah, I just talked about Punishara. I don't think I have enough spells. I think she'll be dead in hand too often. Taunt Nog is actually not a bad idea. I actually think that's pretty good. We need uh, we need card draw anyway. Yeah, that's a good idea. It's kind of early game too, which is what I'm trying to shore up. I mean, I, I think I wanted a one drop, but kind of does the same thing. Pelican Diver. Voodoo Doctor. I mean, Sir Finley is probably okay if we're doing uh, Phelan stuff. All right. I just don't know if I like this late game package. I don't I don't know if we can do this. Like usually you can do this because you know you have enough uh, discounts and stuff and you have enough taunts. I don't know if we're going to be able to do that. I mean, we have Reno, but that's a big gap from Reno to Ickman. I think I got to cut these late game cards. I think they're too expensive. I just don't think it has the taunt and defensive consistency that you would normally hope for. I'd rather run like a four drop again and a one drop maybe again. Could do uh, like Okani's pretty good. BGH might actually be pretty good against Druid. Although, I don't know, I think Druid kind of screws me either way. Which is not a good sign for a deck, of course, but <laughs> so be it. <laughs> uh, spammy? Yeah, it's probably hard for us to line up Spammy's reliably. We don't have a lot of like flex damage that can sometimes help. You know, you got like mortal coils. I think it's easier to make that card work. Not that not that warlock would need it, but oh ram, yeah, I need to run ram. I forgot about ram. Yeah, ram's perfect. Actually, wanted ram. I think I just forgot to click it earlier. Thought I had it. Maybe a one drop then. Maybe like mistress of mixtures. It's like weird for a hunter to run mistress of mixtures. Could do like a raptor. Seems pretty bad though. One man, I give a one one in hand. I don't know what you mean by that. What card are you talking about? One man, I give a one one in hand. Maybe. Oh, this one you mean? Eh, I don't think it's worth it for. I just don't have a lot of synergies for that. You know, there's nothing like I'm using the minions for. I'd rather just have like a sticky minion, like a click clocker or something. Think about Trog, maybe. Trog's interesting. I don't have a lot of follow-ups to it, I guess, though. Mistress is interesting. Peasant is honestly interesting. I like the idea of drawing a card off Peasant sometimes. Maybe a Peasant. Could do other Sir Finley if we want to shift away from our hero power. Holy crap! P Funk, what? Ten thousand bits from P Funk, what? Dude, P Funk, thanks for the ten thousand bits. Been watching you on YouTube forever. Finally caught you live. Thanks for what you do. Holy crap, P Funk, thank you, man. That's really nice. I'm glad you made it. Thanks for the absurd generosity. And uh, man, I'm I'm happy to do it. I don't I don't deserve the credit. Honestly, it's fun. Try my best though. 10,000 bits, dude. We haven't seen red bits in forever. That's high rolling. Thank you, P Funk. Man, didn't you drop a sub earlier too? I feel like I saw your name earlier. I feel like we talked about it. Am I nuts? Am I nuts? The Hall of Fame, what's that? <laughs> what's that? Tame Beast. No, I like this, actually. I think this is fine. Let's try this. Reno Hunter. It's, you know, it's one of those decks where it doesn't really have a win condition other than just playing cards. <laughs> you know? Like, eventually, my cards... Eventually... 
My cards will win. No, I'm going to update it. I'm not going to remove it. No. I'm going to update it. It's going to be updated. I promise. Someday. <laughs> Six years from now. I will update it. Uh, here. I'm going to make a note right now, literally. I do want to update it. Here. It won't happen this weekend, though. I guarantee you that. Uh, Twitch. I'm going to do a... Uh, so I don't know what yet, but I'm gonna do some kind of push for a hundred thousand uh, followers on Twitch because we're getting pretty close. We're at ninety six thousand, so I'm gonna I'm gonna tidy up all the Twitch stuff soon. I'm gonna fix all the Twitch stuff before I do that. So I actually have a, a good excuse to do it for once. Um, yeah, I don't know. Do I do I want Sir Finley on one? I don't really know what hero power I want is the problem. There's nothing inherently wrong with the Hunter one, but I do think in general I would prefer a slightly more defensively aligned hero power. Maybe like Druid that's got some flexibility or something, you know. Mech Mage might need a reactive hero power. Maybe a Mage Ping. Demon Hunter even maybe would be just more flexible. Fills in curves more easily and stuff. Paladin? No, Paladin gets murdered too easily by Mecha Shark. Let's just go Warrior. Play from behind here a little bit, I guess. Uh, Amalgam on two, is that better than Dunbaldar? It's really debatable, right? Because you want to make sure you draw your secrets off Dunbaldar. Amalgam is a little bit better tempo, but if you're going to be playing from behind with like explosive traps anyway, maybe you don't need that. I don't really want a Murloc either, so I, I think it's this. If this were a beast or something, maybe. Ooh, explosive traps pretty good. Should be fine. Probably just go treasure guard next turn. Don't secret yet. Explosive trap. We want to go as wide as we can on it. It's not a terrible battle ram actually, though. Makes this cost three mana. Two mana. Three mana. Next turn, I could go rat king explosive trap. Probably not that good, though. The Queen's troll this theoretically lines up fairly well. Let's just buy some time. It's gonna be a tough one to win, by the way. I don't, I don't feel good about this. I don't actually know what decks we're gonna be able to beat, but I don't feel good about this one. <laughs> it's just... Okay, that did force a ping. That's pretty good. I think we count that a victory. Oh, now this gets way more interesting. I actually need the stuff to trade into, so I'm not going to go for an explosive trap here. Ooh, that's kind of fun. Might play that with it. See if we can sneak out an extra Hydralodon. They might play around that, they might hedge it, but even an extra three one's fine. That's not the end of the world, right? So... Okay, that's a little annoying for the Hydralodon secret line, but I guess I can always just kill it. It's not that much weaker than an Amalgam. <gasps> Reno, that's what we want to see, baby. Okay, that gives me the recovery if I can get the board back, right? I'll get the... Um... Yeah, I mean, this is fine, right? With Reno in particular, I'll just kill the better thing here. I hit here, here. Doesn't really matter, probably. This thing's a little better at killing the Hydralodon, I guess, but... All right, let's try to let's try to sneak this this maneuvers if we can. They have the one one they can kind of just throw in for free to test the maneuvers if they're heads up about it. They might do that. Oh 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 oh! Might have been testing freezing or explosive trap there or freezing trap. I guess I mean too. Certainly feels like an explosive freezing trap test. I got words. I know how to use them. Uh, do people play Control at Hearthstone? Yeah, I mean, Control Warrior's actually been a higher tier deck for the last expansion. It's just people kind of don't notice it or forget about it or whatever. But yeah, it's not the predominant method of play, but it's been fine. Oh, baby. Here we go, baby. Yes. <laughs> Evil laughs. 
Oh, don't you love him? Thank you for giving me an extra dude. I mean, I guess I just fully cleared out. Do I want to play anything else? I guess I could just play some secrets. It's fine. Okay. I'm annoyed how this isn't symmetrical. I screwed up. <laughs> I ruined everything, dude. No. Why did I do this? Oh, wow. That's a good ice trap, too. Woo! <laughs> this is going quite well. And we're still going to lose to stupid Mecha Shark, aren't we? Well, I mean, this hero power is at least really good when I got nothing else to do. Although, I guess Hunter's hero power would also be pretty juicy here. Okay. <laughs> hey, Wad. Thanks, man. That's really nice. Oh, this is a good answer. It's actually a legit good answer. Really, really clean answer. Uh, so I gotta actually make plays now. Gross. I don't want to have to make plays. Uh, Rat King Barbed Nets here will kill this, I guess. It's pretty good. And this being a Naga is pretty awesome. Ooh, that's good when we're getting close to lethal, I think. We definitely have to respect Gaia, I think, right? That's that's pretty important. Uh, where is my Hunter Hero Power, though? It would be very nice right now. <laughs> I'm very close to lethal. Uh, yeah, a little regret there, I guess. I think we'll be okay, but... Oh, God. Oh, God. Famous lost words. Oh, God. Dude, I'm gonna be too off lethal, aren't I? I need uh, our weapon. Harpoon gun off the top. Please. I don't even have a way to answer these right now. Slicive Trap doesn't do the job. I may just have to Reno and pray, but it's scary, man. Zola Reno is pretty sick, though. Oh, actually, oh, dude, I think I saved the Zola for lethal next turn, right? That's 10 mana. Yeah, I don't need the Zola now. It's fine. We're gonna be rich. This gives me the lethal next turn, so. That's just six. We should be fine at 32, right? Famous last words, right? <laughs> it's like, uh, I don't know. It's scary. That's 11 mana, guys. It's four and four and three, or he just saw three and three and four. Oh, God. Oh, oh, explosive trap. I don't even need it anyway. I got explosive trap. It's all fine. It doesn't matter. Forgot about explosive trap. It's 11 mana, bro. <laughs> I saw threes. I was like, oh, yeah. Three and three and four, dude. That's 10 mana. Easy. Oh, this dying actually saved me some life. That's cool. Thank you, Gaia. Am I still dead, though? My god, dude. They're still going off. Oh my god. How much damage is this? Am I still dead? No, I'm not dead. Right. Oh! Guys! The armor almost made the difference. I would have almost died without armor. If I hadn't armored and the pings had not hit Reno, I would have died. Because if these could have attacked, I would have been dead without armor. This might have accidentally been the right play because of explosive trap. Oh my God. Woo! I just wanted the extra armor, guys. Reno though, coming in clutch, man. Valera. Coming in clutch. I hear the call Galaxy the brain, yeah. <laughs> it's, just, it's, just, it's, just, it's this big. I'm so large that my brain 
although it may appear normal sized in my body, my body is just so large that, you know, comparatively, my brain is probably two to three times the size of yours. <laughs> because my body is two to three times the size. So, you know, proportionally speaking, I have a gigantic brain. It's all about proportions, okay? Uh, all right. This is good. Do we actually keep Mancrick too? Just have plays? Probably so. Can fill on on four with a secret or something. Hey, Ocean Dub Gaming, dude, thanks for the Prime sub. Alright. Maneuvers, eh, not really our best secret, but it's still fine. I mean, honestly, just getting back uh, an animal companion or something's fine, right? We could maybe hit it on a Rat King, but that would be pretty hard. I feel like Dunbaldar Bunker is low-key one of the best cards in the game. It's just... You know, from like a what it does standpoint, it's negative one mana, draw three cards, right? That's kind of crazy if you think about it. It takes a while, obviously. It's specific because it's only secrets. There are clearly some situations in which it's not ideal. But in a vacuum, if you just kind of break it down, it's low-key one of the strongest cards in the game. For what it does. Synergistically, of course, you know, that changes, but... All right, Rat King here seems fine to me. I'll just clean this stuff up. I'm gonna read the emergency maneuvers a little more, I guess. Is the moral of the story? Oh, you have like mountain bear and things. The results of my just kind of playing honest minions on curve here, aren't we? Three, four, four, five, five, five with rush. I guess a little better, but just curving out, dude. Reno stuff, no big deal. Revive pet currently is Rat King, so that's a pretty good revive pet actually already. Assuming it dies. Uh, we'll be Mountain Bear as well in there, which is also good. I don't know. You could argue Rat King's better. I don't have a lot of token stuff, though, so probably not really better. Oh, spicy. Spicy stuff. I've never actually seen anyone do this yet. I've seen the list floating around, but never actually saw it played until right now. Let's look for a explosive here, I guess. Eats a lot of the board. Emergency maneuvers again into the mountain bear is pretty good though. Explosive eats a lot of the board, yeah. This getting to one is like not ideal though. I need another explosive. Uh I mean I guess it's kind of okay if they if they hit the mountain bear though. Like if they if they want to attack into the mountain bear to kill the mountain bear, I don't think that's the end of the world, right? Because they take five. I'm getting the mountain bear back anyway, in theory, from the um, getting two mountain bears back. In fact, um, I think we'd have to consider that a a good result. Five damage, summon two mountain bears is pretty good, and that also will help feed this rat king too because. Uh, we got lots of mountain bear cubs on board. Now that I did not expect to see. No one crosses the uncrowned. Is that Tavish? That's all I played. Going on a Gave them a Tavish. Oh boy, I don't know about that. Shadow set must have been the only good combo enabler. I don't. I feel like putting that back in hand just to heal. It's a little strange. I don't know. I mean, you could have just could have just Phelan Vanessa and kept that guy on board, right? Three is three health really worth losing the poisonous on it? I don't I don't know. Maybe they thought I was going to kill it easily or something. Not sure. So now I got to figure out their freaking Tavish. Uh, maneuvers isn't that scary. There's nothing that scary, right? Freezing trap, I guess, would be a little annoying against our mountain bears, but I don't even have to attack with those.
So that's one mana now. But you nuked up small fry. Just replaying it. I have to say I'm completely stupefied. I just don't know. I guess I just don't know. Two Mountain Bears is very spicy though. Uh, I guess we are willing to test here a little bit. Freezing Trap's fine, whatever. Um, apparently not a Freezing Trap, okay. It's also fine. <laughs> I've never heard that before somehow. Voodoo, thanks for the thanks for the tier one. I don't trust stairs, they're always up to something. That's pretty funny actually. Uh I guess we just go wide here. I, I, I don't know. Explosive trap is somewhat threatening. Um you can test an ice trap, I guess. Maybe that's fine too. Okay, it's fine. This actually kind of draws too much stuff, doesn't it? Yeah, let's just play a five drop guy. Oh, uh, yeah, I can test explosive here. That's fine. I don't care if the small stuff dies. In fact, it's sometimes good for me. Uh, yeah, play a big sticky boy here. Big old sticky boy. Uh, Ask Bask, thanks for the prime sub, and Freak with a two month streak and sub. Thank you for the prime sub. And. When stairs are not up to something, something's going down anyway. Wow, wow, what a good follow-up. Man, the stair humor has caught me off guard today, guys, but I love it. How do I have a thousand viewers right now? Is no one else streaming? What's happening? Is Reno Hunter really popular? What is going on? I just looked over and I was expecting 400 and it's a thousand. Did we get raided? No. Wow, guys, thanks for hanging out, man. You're gonna help me push to a hundred thousand followers in no time. Sorry, I'll leave again. Yes, please. Get out of here. Yeah, I've got a good Friday vibe. <laughs> you want to watch grouchy people on Monday and happy people on Friday? I get it. Yeah, that actually that actually tracks. So this is fourteen. Um, revive pet is probably pretty good about any time. If I kill off a minion here, I actually get a Rat King back, but I think I'd rather just go face, honestly. Oh, yeah. We're gonna roll a Huffer here. Can I get a Huffer off this guaranteed? I don't know, let's see. We're just, we're just going, dude. Huffer number three! Oh, that's a little. Okay. At first I was like, this hunter is playing a weird deck. I forgot they I forgot they played my Tavish. I was like, man, this is a weird hunter deck. <laughs> this is a strange hunter deck, dude. I had so much health. I don't even I kinda zoned out there with chat talking to you guys. I don't even know what happened. Uh I don't know, Chiridis, it's strange, yeah. Usually, like, Kibble or somebody's on and has more viewers. Uh... Oh! At least they gotta spend more mana here. Surely the stats alone are enough. I don't need effects here, do I? Oh, wow. That just doesn't do enough. <laughs> the shard at three is brutal. Or two, I guess. Yeah, GG, man. Okay, this deck is actually winning games. That was a shock. I thought we were going to just lose a lot when I played this, but instead, uh, we're 2-0. and Not a lot of data, obviously, but 2-0 and is better than 0-2. We'll take the 2-0s. and Uh, you showed up in my YouTube recommendations, so YouTube does actually share my videos, and I didn't think that was happening anymore. <laughs> <laughs> it, seemed, it seemed like they'd stopped. <laughs> Relieved to hear they still occasionally <laughs> recommend videos. Okay. It's a relief. Yeah, Bunker's good. I don't think we need Barb Nets against Druid. I think we need more like Mancricks and Harpoon Guns and ways to cheat out Hydralodons. We need kind of more meaningful plays to get out ahead of Druid. 
Renos won't matter against an army of 8-8s. Uh, Ram and Rat King are in the right direction. If I can get like a, a Hydralodon out ahead here. Tarantula is actually a card that's probably pretty good against Druid as well, actually. I would I would, I would surmise. Yeah, Hydralodon Ram's pretty good. A turn 5 Hydralodon might be the kind of play that's fast enough to beat Druid. Uh, this might be hard to kill is the only actual downside right now, I think. it's They might need that 4-4 out for me to trade this into. It's almost a shame they didn't play it on turn 1. They may feel compelled to kill it anyway with, like, you know, Wrath or something, but... Any thoughts on the Kazakasan nerf? I think it's pretty cool, because I might get to play Kazakasan in other decks more easily. I I sort of hated the way Kazakasan was so good in Druid, but I think he's such a such a fun card if you're playing him in more of a meme angle. You know, I don't I don't think Kazakasan's ever a card you want to be tier one because he's really frustrating, but if he's tier three or tier four, I think that's a pretty cool card. Because he's rarer, you know. You don't feel like he's like the, the crown on the end of a good deck. You feel like he's kind of just a meme. Ooh, Reno too, man. This is going very well. I guess we go ahead and play this for now. Soften it up a little bit. Can trade it in next turn if it hits this way. Play Hydralodon on five. Uh, okay. That, that activates the guy, which is nice. You do kind of prefer... Oh, am I going to burn a card? I am. Oh. Oh. You got Reno, I guess. I Not my man, Crick. Definitely a card I think you prefer playing when you can trade it in, but it's still, you know, it's still good. Still the threat developer. might help protect it right i'm thinking they also might just want to like miracle grow through this and then uh this secret really really disrupts their turn i could try this but just resting my know. Eyes. that thing doesn't activate right as a result yeah okay now we can go emergency maneuvers and rat king and then i have kind of two great targets Still got Reno in the pocket too. This is still gonna be their their prime target to kill, which I'm you know I hope gets maneuvered, and then I'm overwhelming them with stuff. Uh, and then I have Revive Pet actually as well, which I guess at this stage is even guaranteed to connect. Is that right? I haven't thought about it, but I guess so. Oh, they might be wise to trade in on a uh, well. Okay, that was a weird trade for a couple of reasons I think, but. Uh, Happy that it happened, regardless. <laughs> um, I guess if they kill all the Hydralodons, though, I'm just kind of stuck with a 5-5, aren't I, in hindsight? Yeah, they, they could have done this maybe a little little more tightly. Uh, but I can just revive pet another Hydralodon in some cases, right? I may not be able to get it, always. Uh... Probably also a, a Zola option, but I could do that as sort of a backup here, I think. Yeah, let's try to hit the Hydralodon. That's really good if we do. Yeah. Actually insane. They don't have Rush or anything, but just really insane. Because now they have two of these to deal with if they want to clear the three ones, which is, I think, a real pickle. And you know what? I think I'll make another one, too. Why not? It's a good reload if I need to react to a board. And now that also fuels the Rat King here with all these minions too, which is good. Solar Reno is not nearly as useful in this matchup because if they win, it's going to be with like a bunch of 8-8s eight and Reno will just like buy me a turn instead of actually stabilizing anything. So do they have the other Hydralodon clear here? It's pretty small in the scheme of things. Wow. Kind of got board space problems, don't I? A little awkward for board space. What's the sucker at? Four? Okay, not perfect. This math is a little weird for me, too. 
part of me wants to play the other Hydralodon again, but it's just board space is a problem. It doesn't really do anything. Reflect Oracle, oh! Well. Uh... Druid to clear it, wow. Okay, so now I can play this one though and just trade these in, but... Uh... I don't really need to, right? Because I'm going to end up with a full board anyway. So just trade, trade. This wakes up after I play this one and trade it in. Yeah, I'm going to have a five minion board regardless. Uh, I'm, I'm going to end up with five afterwards here. So I can just trade these first. I don't have any lethals though, do I? I have eight to face. If I play this. It's not lethal yet, right? So I think we do this. I guess I don't have a full full board. I'm one spot off. Maybe I could have traded that second one in then. Uh, I thought I was going to end up with a full full board. Well, whatever. It's fine. Hopefully it's enough. That's certainly a good draw because Huffers can, can end this game. Yeah, maybe I should have traded one off after playing Hydralodon then. Because so, I would have had enough space for one more dude. Well, whatever. I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> So we've gotten through scale. I mean, another scale is obviously a great answer. Always. Three run in here. Three here. One here. Maybe Rat King lives. Just kind of hoping we can get them out of stuff by the time Kazakasan lands, though. Ivis is an issue. We can always, like, freezing trap an Ivis, but that's really hard. Just need enough chip damage. Tavish can also put in a lot of damage, of course. Here's an explosive trap for some damage. All right. I think we like Tavish better than Mountain Bear. Farm Nets is damage as well. Oh my goodness. We have seven, nine. Any, any beast outs for lethal here? Thinking about holding on to Tavish for a second, because my hero power is also really good right now. This is only direct damage like one out of three times. If you got a minion, sort of two. Kind of thinking this hero power is better for right now. I think I just play on Curve Bear and just another sticky board and just line up hero powers for the win, right? Because this is almost enough. The, the real risk is Ivis and Earthen Scales, but you can't do those together in a single turn. So if I set up the win right now... They can't go for Ivis Earthen Scales. They can do other things Earthen Scales, but but not Ivis. Yeah, see, so this is just lethal. Cool. Giving ourselves an over-the-top hero power. Worked. I mean, I, I guess I had it on board in this particular case, but, <laughs> you know, either way. Okay. Man, why is this working? <laughs> What's happening, dude? <laughs> it's like pretty good feeling it's not just working it actually feels pretty good i think just playing good cards on curve is sometimes enough it turns out zola's really good zola's such a good card by the way i love zola is perfect for my kind of hearthstone right just making extras cool stuff Okay, so I think we, again, look for, like, Hydralodon cheat packages against Druid. Otherwise, they will absolutely outstabilize me. So, uh, yeah. Tracking kind of gives me a remulligan of sorts. Three choices instead of one, so I'll keep the tracking. Talon can hit a Hydralodon. That's a little slow, maybe, but, you know. This is the best card. I don't think it's enough to reliably beat Druid, but it's just the best card. Fits our curve currently as well. Five, six, seven. If we got a mountain bear off Talon. That would be a much worse roll, I'm sure. But so far, Sir Finley Sea Guide has felt like the worst card. But I, I haven't really had a good Phelan moment for it. I don't think this could be a matchup where that's definitely relevant. Oh, hey, whoa. 
Because you need a lot of big stuff against Druid, I think. A bunch of Colossals could be a way to do that. Full cost Colossals are perhaps less exciting, but still an option. Yeah, Dunbaldar early has definitely been good, for sure. Thinning out the deck, cheap secrets. Just it helps. My eyes. No doubt. Ugh, dead turns here do not help. I don't think we ever weave in the Freezing Trap. It's just not meaningful at all against this minion. Uh, do we go Phelan or School Teacher? Phelan lines up a little better into these two minions. No immediate support for it. I guess Talon could draw like a Gaia or a uh, Gigafin. Which actually, Gigafin is really good against Druid. So, that might be nice. Actually could be a good line if we can get a Gigafin. I don't think I'm going to have the kind of Tempo Hydralodon line because we didn't hit a uh, ram. Buy a loon. So that could be a different approach that's better. <laughs> Scales. It's a little early, perhaps. This makes Explosive Trap fairly intriguing, but I think Talon is still just fine. Not burning him, I know. This is not what we stood for. Might, might need to dump some cards next turn, though, because I am getting a full hand. So, Gigafin would be the high roll. Gaia would be fine. I mean, it's not as good as Gigafin, I don't think, in this matchup, but still a big threat, which is important. Of course, we could get another Hydralodon, too. We would not want the Priest Colossal. That would be the worst roll. We would not want Kolak, probably. Seems like that'd be pretty tough. Leviathan would also be fine. Yeah, I'd take a Leviathan. That's good and reactive against bigger stuff. Gigafin and Leviathan would maybe be the two best bets, actually. We just hit the Mountain Bear. So, that does not that does tell us we don't have a Gigafin, I guess. We know there's no Gigafin in that case. So we did gain a little knowledge. Who here can spell Zinashari? Anybody? Out of secret, so that's no good. Probably just tracking's fine. And I think we'll play it now, absolutely. Hand's getting stuffed, so. Uh, okay, we did get a Colac. That's, uh, I think, a little unfortunate. Revive Pet is probably the play for us. Just get a big, cheap thing. Job done. Later. I said the hand is getting full, but this this refilled the hand anyway. I don't know. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I had to play it at some point. Scale. That's not good for my Freezing Trap, unfortunately. I was hoping to isolate this guy. Explosive Trap will certainly line up a little better here now, though. I can actually play Tavish, too. Um, well, I should perhaps play the Explosive Trap first in that case, so that if I get a Freezing Trap for this guy, the Explosive Trap will resolve first, killing the two ones. Because if I go for Tavish and I get the Explosive Trap second, I might mess up the order here a little bit. Uh, is this the most obvious play? Seems fine. Tavish earlier rather than later. We're not looking for hero powers over the top, so... Now I don't have to take an Explosive Trap. I can take whatever I want, which is probably Maneuvers. And then I look for the Freezing on the back half. If I don't get a Freezing in the back half, um, an Ice Trap would have been fine too. Yeah. Okay. I mean, this basically goes unplayable if this works. Uh, I guess we'll see. All right, uh, maneuvers into Mountain Bear is pretty cool. It's a good turn. They innervated to test Ice Trap, that's smart. This thing is dead in hand, that's good. All right, that was a good turn. Still not in a good spot against Druid. I think we're in a really tight spot, tough spot. It's gonna be hard to win, but that was a good turn at least. Hero powering here is actually a little risky with the maneuvers out because you could get like a, you know, a huffer that's sniped or something. I wonder if I'm better off just going like mountain bear, ice trap. 
just to make sure the mountain bear connects. The, the problem with the mountain bear is like, it's... Oh, I don't have mana for that stuff anyway. They just ripped an Innervate and an Earthen Scales. This might connect, I don't know. Scale would be a, a reasonable play for them to open with. <laughs> they seem like they could test around the uh, ice traps pretty easily though, so I'm not gonna try to snipe anything too hard. Um, Reflect in the moon. Uh, Naga Giants, okay, sure. That's a lot of stuff. It's very hard to kill. I have a lot of bodies for them to throw into this, but man. It's like, I don't know, dude. It's going to take a lot of bodies to beat this. Uh, okay. What does this draw mean? Yeah, unfortunately, another Innervate, as we feared. Uh, what's What are my Nagas right now? Zola and Treasure Guard? Okay. Yep, I need a lot. I need a lot. <laughs> guys, uh, it's not going to be easy, I think. Uh, is there anything like crazy I can get here? Like any beast that's just like insane for the amalgam or whatever? We know we didn't have a... Uh, we know there were there was no Gigafin, right? I like the idea of Leox. Leox, I think, can help just like help trade up and stuff. Oh, Tarantula is good, but I. It would be hard to activate the poisonous right now. Let's see what this rolls me first. Hmm. Huffer is. If we get another one, it's kind of cool. Okay, I'm just going to go here, right? Actually, even without the, the barb nets, makes it pretty good too. Yeah, if they have the the silence all minions, which is a tech card for this deck, like obviously we're we're screwed. It's just dead. Um, if they don't have the silence all dudes, we might be able to trade off for a while. Let's see. Oh god. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, I think we're dead. <laughs> I don't have any answers. To this Gigafin was my only out in this scenario, right? There's just no amount of bodies I can throw into this that are relevant, right? Uh, Sir Finley, it had some Colossals, we know, but that's just never enough. Gaia, we know, is not in there. Colax, not enough. Hydralodon is perhaps down there. Krabatoa is not really enough. Hmm. Uh... Yeah, I, I do indeed have Reno. <laughs> I, don't think, I don't think he's particularly useful, though. Wish I could discover a Gigafin off this, but of course, that's not how it works. That's a Warlock card. Uh, yeah, none of this is going to be good enough. Uh, Hydralodon is like sort of okay if there happens to be one down there. But not enough, obviously. Polak, not enough. Clugged is really fun. Nelly is also really fun, but not enough. Is Glug ever enough? There's just so many taunt bodies. I don't think so, right? Doesn't seem like it. There's like 26 damage here always, so hit, hit, hit. They hit this first. I mean, Technically, I guess there's four bodies left behind. I don't I don't think they have a guaranteed lethal on board for the record. Um <laughs> is there ever a, or maybe they do. I think they have 21. No, I don't think it's guaranteed, right? Oh no, maybe it is. Oh it is, yeah, 26. Okay. Uh oh, there were five attacks, yeah. Man, this would have almost been enough to eat these, though. Imagine. Would have been fun. The 2-4 killing a 2-2 two -two is basically the... The death knell there.
Okay, uh, did I miss some subs? Toby Snoo dropped the two month sub. Thank you for the prime sub. JB Bow. Whoa, wait, did I get JB Bow's gifted subs? Oh my God, I don't remember seeing these. JB Bow dropped five gifted subs, and I think I missed it. JB Bow, are you still here? Oh my God, dude, I, I think I don't remember talking about these. JB Bow, dude. JB Bow, he's gone. Oh my god, JB Bao. I missed your subs, dude. Oh no, he's here. Oh, thank god. JB Bao says you were deep in the game. No worries. Oh, thank god. I was worried I missed you, dude. Thank you for the gifted subs, man. Yeah, I get in the zone sometimes. I, I, I peace out. I zone out. Uh, grats to Private Jet, Gooey, Awog, Killa Ape, and Chris B. Thank you, JB Bao, for the kindness. Uh, okay, this is a good opener. Drew it again, though, man. This is all we play. Druid's probably not going to be the best matchup for this, I have to imagine. We kind of have to get out fast ahead of them, and that's just not that easy to do. I think we have to hit the, like, Hydralodon Ram side of the deck to do that well. It's just so hard to do. This is guaranteed to hit a Hydralodon now. It's kind of intriguing, since we got Mountain Bear in hand. I also looked at that other card, too. It was juicy, though. But with Harpoon Gun... Hydralodon could be at the bottom. I don't know. There's other good beasts down there. I mean, I save coin, don't I? Is killing a wild growth here worth it? Eh. There's other big spells to hit, but as we saw before, like, you know, innervates and stuff can really disrupt that so easily. I don't know if it's worth it. Have you played duels since the new expansion? Yeah, quite a bit. I mean, not as much as we have in the past, I guess. Because we're still playing new decks, but yeah, we've played a lot. You don't know how you feel about it? Yeah, it's it, it always takes a little bit for the new duels meta, I think, to settle. As they kind of refine things. There's just so many variables in duels, it's really, really hard to get it right on the first pass. I mean, I just don't have that many beasts. Like, a Rat King, though, would be pretty insane. I just really want to play Dunbaldars as soon as possible, though. They're so good. If I coin a Talon, I lose a coin on, like, a... Uh, Hydralodon. So maybe I'll just Harpoon Gun and Talon on Curve. Oh, man. They're really good at testing these Innervates, by the way. Jeez. Oh, that's totally fine. A Doomsayer Druid list. I guess I haven't seen a lot of these. I don't know what exactly to expect here. Hydralodon! Uh, Rat King. Wow, that's exactly what I talked about. That's funny. Do I play the Rat King next turn, though, or just stick to Talon? Because Talon still has coin Hydralodon as an option, right? I think we still Talon. The problem is, like, Talon may not actually die on time. Talon's a card that can certainly live. How has the climb been with this deck? I think we're three and one so far. So, weirdly okay. Like, actually sort of good. So, the odds of this being a beast now are pretty dang slim. Could hold this all the way to a Phelan, but that's so greedy. I just kind of need this to die. I don't know if it will, though. It's really hard to kill it. Uh, but again, yeah, I think we're just going to have trouble against Druid. It's so hard to get under them with this deck. It's just not a fast deck. Okay, this will let me kill off the Talon, actually, if they're trading. That's good. I'm always curious about this. We see this a lot where people will trade in there. I always wonder if it's the right move or not. So this hits Hydralodon. I can coin Hydralodon to clear this guy. Probably go ahead and clear the 4-1-2. I almost burned the Hydralodon, guys. I don't know if you saw that. <laughs> I was like double checking hand size. We weren't going to, but man. A little scary. Uh, Reno is not a beast, but I mean, I guess he's the best card. Is he really, though? This is not a matchup where I think Reno like ever matters, hardly. Is Animal Companion just better? I'm going to be filling my curve pretty well, I think. But Animal Companion can be a lot of damage output. I'm going to take the Companion, weirdly. 
I just don't think I need the Reno this matchup. Because when they win, they win with like Ivis is an 8-8s, you know? I'm rarely gonna buy a turn where that like makes a difference. I'm either gonna win or lose. Reno is not gonna change that that math. Against like, you know, an aggro demon hunter, Reno would be primo. Cause it might take them three or four turns to deal 30 damage. Against a druid, that's one board. It just doesn't do anything meaningful. It does one board. Okay. Uh, yeah, I wish I could get a maneuvers with this, but I don't want to play the maneuvers now. Just want to try to protect this against board interaction. This is a lot of damage right now, though. <sighs> Which is exactly what we need. We need a couple boards of this to stick, and then we're good to go. Rat King, too, if I ever trade in, it'll be really nice. Like, if they build some taunts here, you know, just Rat King... Well, trade in and then trade, 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 trade. Get a Rat King back or whatever. Okay. Is this going to be Ivis just to taunt up, I guess? You're going to die if you just play Sea Giants here. Naga Giants, whatever they're called. Uh. Got a way to give these taunts or anything? Oh, Earthen Scales to gain life. Okay. Man, where's my Houndmaster Shawl right now? I could just clear the board. Dude, I would give anything for a Houndmaster Shawl right now, dude. Please. <gasps> ah, shut it up! Actually insane. Oh, I should have just sent all these face, huh? I just made a mistake already. I forgot I had face damage. I got so excited. I got so excited, dude. <laughs> I missed three damage. I just got so excited. Wow. Okay. I missed three phases. It only takes one minion, right? I got so excited. All right. I think we'll take it. Let's keep it. Thanks. I think we'll take it. <laughs> what a board you've built there, Mr. Druid. It would sure would be a shame, dude. <laughs> That's so insane. Oh my god. I hope that three damage isn't bad enough. That's gonna be a little annoying. Oh, how does this work with emergency maneuvers now that I think about it? Uh, I guess it comes back later, huh? Oh my god, is it gonna bring back this? Oh no, no, it brings back the 2-4, of course. Oh, that's annoying. That's actually not good on a full board, is it? Uh, oh no, this three damage isn't gonna matter, is it, dude? Because I have 15. Oh no, dude, this three damage isn't good. No, I have lethal, right? It's fine. It's fine. We got it. Don't worry. Don't worry. We got it. Wow. Dude, what a way to beat Druid. <laughs> That's great, man. I'm so glad you guys had me on this Shaw. I really resisted it. I really resisted it. I was like, we're never going to have 11 mana to do that together. It's impossible. Excellent victory. So we've actually managed to beat Druids twice now. I don't... I don't really think it's a good matchup for us. I think we're just kind of... You know, cheesing it, basically. I'm not convinced it's it's good, though. I think it's just cheese. Now, Demon Hunter, Reno, like I said, might actually be pretty relevant. Let's keep this Reno against Demon Hunter. Buying a couple turns against Demon Hunter can be a big deal. Bunkar's good too. Bunkar. <laughs> Bunkar's good too. I think uh, getting an explosive trap early could really help stabilize a board. Tavish is certainly fine as well. This is a pretty good anti demon hunter hand. This is not a great breakpoint. I guess there's like the 3 4 puffer fist, and maybe Drek'thar stuff. I can't do that. Oh, Zola Reno. Okay. We like that even more, perhaps. We didn't have Bunker last game, no. Been pretty lucky with Bunker, though, I gotta say. It's been very often. Like 80% of the time we've had Bunker. And it's very good early. Scar, a foe. Shame I didn't hit an explosive trap here, though. Do, that. do I bluff it anyway? <laughs> I mean, heal 2 is really not that meaningful, but I wonder if they'll call the bluff or not. 
Like, they try to play the three drop first. And like, oh, yeah, they just want to buff this. Oh, man, they had a good kind of reason to go anyway. I did maybe save some one ones on board here because they didn't want to attack. Like, they might have gone for an attack instead. So maybe this still worked out in my favor, right? I think you could make that argument. We need to hit the explosive, not the maneuvers here. Uh, Revive Pet at the moment's a little iffy. Conscious Call doesn't really seem like it either. And Urchin Spines, I don't know. I guess Revive Pet's the best for later. Yeah, we didn't hit the explosive. That actually sucks. That's tough. Uh, Talon and Treasure Guard are both cool. Actually, Treasure Guard Emergency Maneuvers is probably pretty good for us. Ugh. Used my thing too early because I had to, but... Sort of unfortunate draws. Just don't think Hydralodon here matters much at all. I think saving little chunks of damage actually matters a lot, though. So let's just do this. I don't want to have to Reno right on six, right? I want to try to stabilize the board a little bit before I Reno. If I can stretch it out some, I think it'll make a big difference. So I want to go like Tavish next turn, hit an explosive trap, hopefully that's really a good fit, and then go from there. That probably still gets played. It's pretty good here. I get another taunt back next turn, which is great. Helps this make a little more sense. Don't mind the chip damage so awful much. It's just... Well, God, do I have the Reno already, man? Like, is Tavish enough? 14 just doesn't feel super safe. I think I'm going to take one turn, though. I mean, hopefully I get some some secrets here that save me. But Explosive Trap's actually not that good because this stupid Pufferfish didn't didn't trade in. Um, I don't know. We can try, like, freezing. and I mean, even Maneuvers is sort of okay again. But I might be dead. This is a bit of a risk. Going to try to greed this Reno super hard, though. I mean, Freezing Trap technically saves me two at least. That's that's something. Maybe it helps the trades here. Explosive just doesn't really do anything. I think I actually go Maneuvers again. This is a weird game. I'm very far behind. I have nothing to play with Reno. I would love, like, a barbed nets off the top so that I have a Reno, like, something to go with Reno, right? Oh, boy. That feels, like, lethal to me. Is it though? They're only hitting once. That's five, six, eight. Oh, actually, that helped too. Yeah, that saved saved quite a bit actually. No, I'm alive. But Reno, the problem is right. I'm just leaving so much board. I guess I have two taunts to go with him though. That's pretty good. Also, just drawing a million cards, man. Okay, so I have to Reno here. I'm certain. And if they don't kill Reno, we can Zola, but I can't Reno immediately, but I could just Zola and like, I don't know, Talon or something. Zola, Rat King maybe would be better, depending. Gonna have some cards too, so we'll see. It's just an overwhelming, oh, that's gross with Kurtris. Oh, gross, dude. Gross with the Flag Runner too. I almost need like a Hydralodon to clear stuff, but. Do they kill the Reno, I wonder? That's a big question they have to think about here, I would say. My Revive Pet's just not doing anything yet, is it? Also, Rat King is just not. Oh, actually, Rat King will clear that now, so that's pretty good. Rat King Zola might be the move. It's just, do they leave Reno alive? They clear the Reno. They clear the Reno. To draw more cards, maybe, I guess. One extra body here. Wait, maybe they don't clear Reno. Maybe. Oh, they do. Wow. That's incredible for me, actually. I'm back to 22 now, and I just kind of get to reset. Like, yeah, they have a lot of cards, but I kind of get to reset. Uh, I think I just Rat King this, right? Do I try to revive Pet a Mountain Bear later or Rat King this now? 
Like two five fives on board right now seems pretty good. Well, one five five on board, I mean, but you know, potential for another, I'd say. I don't know, man. Mountain Bear is pretty good later too. Mountain Bear is pretty nuts. What have we here? Maybe not yet. Two Mountain Bears would be kind of gross. I can get a 3-4 anyway, right? Yeah. Let's let's just man quick. 22 is enough for now. I don't need to be super reactive into this board. I'll just dump the Mountain Bear and then like probably explosive trap behind it just to kind of get that in while I have some mana and then we'll revive pet mountain bear like maybe even like Zolet or something I think a wave of mountain bears is very good against this deck right because they usually have to go with minion or face damage they're not good at getting around mountain bears I think so if I play into the mountain bears I, I, that should help us the most I'm sure Explosive Trap, I mean, it, it might be wasted depending on how things line up for them perfectly and stuff, but it could make a big difference. I'm really particularly worried about face attacks going through here because they have a lot of minions on board right now. So this is maybe the kind of make or break turn. Oh, God, that's really good. Oh, shit. It's really good. I guess they're running out of mana on hero powers at least, though. That's kind of good news. They're not hitting me for like a million off hero powers anyway. Still a lot of damage incoming though. Man. Wow, snipes, dude. Snipes. Jeez. Wesley in the house, man. This is gonna die at least. So I'm at 11. I mean, can they even deal 11 over the top? Or 9, let's say? He definitely can with that dude we just saw. It's not impossible. <sighs> I need to almost get like a counter threat going here too, right? I almost clicked that because... <laughs> I almost clicked that, guys. Oh, boy. I'm going to just put in more stuff. I don't need a Zola. It's too greedy. Oh. It's kind of good. I just want to get more bodies to kill them sooner because I I'm worried about like magic damage through the top like I don't know what it would be puffer fish shenanigans maybe so we're gonna get a rat king back too which is nice eight mana shrieker is their best play oh I'm excited to see that that's great news okay <laughs> that is good news they they also res this for me so he gets to attack face so I just have like 17 incoming um. Man, do I have a lethal now? 16, I guess, now. <gasps> I think, like, Leoc is lethal, maybe, right? What did I say? 7, 9, 14, 16? Leoc adds 5, yeah. Leoc is lethal here. The only downside with Leoc, of course, is that... Locks out my board. Would I rather, like, play a Talon? It's lethal already? What have we I don't think here? so. 16. Huffer's not lethal. Huff, Huffer's one off. Unless I could find a harpoon gun, maybe? Oh, okay. Uh, barb nets is actually four. No, it's not. It's not four, because I don't get two. Never mind. It's a second target. Uh, so now Huffer or Leoc are lethal. Nice. Wow, dude. Reno! Reno coming in clutch. Whatever. They're dead. Woo! Great win. Great win. Dude. <laughs> this deck, dude. How does it keep winning? This is unreal, dude. That was a scary game. That turn I played the Tavish in particular was so spooky, dude. We're five and one, guys. We're five and one with Reno Hunter, man. I love it. Uh, I guess I gotta go soon, unfortunately. God! I have a lot of short streams right now because my wife's family's in town. I gotta go take them to dinner. We're gonna go take some photos and and go to dinner. So I'm, I gotta go again, man. I was gonna actually get a longer stream today, but then Blizzard put out a uh, surprise 
nerf announcement. Yeah. So I lost uh, stream time while prepping that video and to make graphics and record the video. So I ended up with another short stream again today. Very annoyed. Uh, this is a good combo, really. The only downside is like it's a little weird for curve because like you want to play Talon on five and Hydralodon on five. I don't know. This does often hit uh, Mountain Bear too, though. So maybe we just toss that and try to hit hit a good beast here naturally. Like a Rat King or a Hydralodon in hand would be would be better. Yeah, Rat King's fine. Can coin this. Maybe a little weird though. Again, mana wise, a little weird. Kind of floating mana, I think, often here. We'll figure it out though. Pirate Warrior is scary. That's gonna be tough. Coin harpoon gun into three is probably fine. Let's just keep up with this stuff. Hydralodon here would be amazing. Tarantula also really good actually. I can play that next turn. On curve. It's better than Mancrick, certainly. Uh, then we'll battle ram on four. We'll the Rock King on five in combination with a secret. Maybe a... Hmm. Should I get battle ram that? That's actually awkward for the Tarantula a little bit. Not too bad though. Let's wait, right? The only thing I'd want to play here is Hydralodon anyway. we It's very unlikely to be on the bottom. Shame Reno's on the bottom, by the way. I guess I could just dredge the Reno. We can do that later, though. Probably a card I do want to grab against Pirate Warrior. The problem with Pirate Warrior is kind of like Druid, where sometimes you Reno, but they just have a giant board of Juggernaut Pirates anyway, and it doesn't really matter that you Renoed. But if they get out ahead early, they might it might make a difference to like buy me a turn. It could, it could be important, depending on the game state and when it's played and stuff. Good targets for an attack here, for sure. Um, so I think we're just going to go Battle Ram. I guess the real question is here, do I value trade the Battle Ram? Yeah, I guess I value trade the Battle Ram. We don't really need it to die yet, because this is my play anyway, and it's kind of 5 mana regardless, so... Value trade makes more sense, I think. No beast, the Reno is definitely the choice. Reno with Dredge is really cool, by the way. Really cool. Thanks, Odwan, man, yeah. I like making videos, no big deal. Making videos is fun. I don't need a lot of credit for it. It's my job, it's fun. I'm lucky. Thanks for watching the videos, really. All right, so I'm gonna eat a poisonous here with a weapon. That's pretty good. Oh, maybe not. Maybe the snipes will get it. Yeah, wow. Good clean hits for them, man. Explosive Trap here is not the most exciting, I gotta say. I will probably do it because it fills in the curve, but a little iffy because you kind of assume it's going to go off. Uh, that said, I, I don't think a hero pair has a lot of value. I'm anticipating spinning my mana a lot over the next few turns, so I'm going to do it, even if it just kills a 2-1. That's fine. It may not proc at all if they go fade, if they hit the 5-3 in trade. That would probably be a little better to, to build it into another board, but... Instead, we get Puffer Fisted. Oh, God, I'm so sick of these two. God, I hate Cannoneer more, but them together is just even worse. Like, I hope this lives. I really hope this lives. That would be a real... Because I have the healing anyway, right? Like, I don't care. The problem here is, like, even Explosive Trap doesn't kill the Puffer Fist. It will next week. It will next week, but... Uh, I guess I still take it. Uh, uh something. It's better than nothing. Maneuvers? Snakes is kind of good for uh, Rat King, but I don't... I'm not really going to be proccing it yet. It's going to take a minute. Maneuvers is good with stuff off the top, but I don't have any of that in hand right now. It's really bad with what I have currently. Hmm. I think I'm going to take snakes. Like, Freezing Trap on the 4-4 here just doesn't really make any sense. That's not really worth anything. I'm going to take snakes. It's not good for a bit, but it'll be good later. <sighs> I think we're kind of screwed, though. They already have Juggernaut. Like, it's always on turn 7. We're just going to end up being too slow here. The Juggernaut! Do I have to Reno yet? <laughs> That's really annoying because it's like... You almost have to Reno. 
right? Uh, maybe Treasure Guard buys me a turn with no Reno, right? That's that's probably probably true. A little awkward from mana though. I definitely don't want to play Finley here. This is obviously the better hero power. I mean, I'll huffer the four two four one. I mean, that's fine. This gives me the guaranteed snakes. Well, I guess not guaranteed, but you know, very often gives me the snakes. Yeah, it's actually probably the best roll. Well, maybe not, because it might have been awkward for the weapon otherwise. We're gonna need more Never mind. They don't. They, they don't. Awkward doesn't exist in their in their world. <laughs> They're a pirate warrior. Everything's perfect all the time. <laughs> Just consistency is the name of the game. It's really hard for unoptimized deck lists like these to beat a pirate warrior. Like, you know, even a druid, which is a better deck, right? They have gaps. They're not, like, super consistent. So there's windows. There's opportunities for us to get in there and kind of do stuff. But a pirate warrior doesn't have those gaps, right? A pirate warrior... Uh, is this active, by the way? Yes. Okay, that's good. So I can kill the Rokara if I want. Is this a bigger threat, though? Because it's also 8 damage, right? I mean, I have to Reno. There's no question about that. I guess like a Huffer here would change my uh, hmm. change my mind too. Let's see, Huffer would help a lot. Leoc instead. Well, that also makes that kind of an easy kill. I could like kill the two four. Yeah, maybe that's okay. Kind of depends on like breakpoints and stuff, but yeah, I guess we got to try this. It's like one off from being good there, you know? We're gonna be rich. Okay. I don't think this helped. Like we just, there's just too much. Oh my God, dude. There's just too much out. Oh my God, dude. He's gonna have smite in hands. I bet you money. I bet you money. Dude. Smite for lethal here. <laughs> what an insane Okay, no smite actually. That's good news. They're also scared of the Reno. Everybody always respects the Reno. I guess they just like assume there's a Zola always. Uh, it surprises me. Just constantly assume Zola is a thing. Shaw here with the. I can't. I can't get Rat King back. Right. I'm just screwed. Couple taunt value trades maybe with. <laughs> I might have to play Sir Finley just to kill a minion here. <laughs> it's so bad, though. It's so bad. Taunts were definitely the role, I think. Okay. Oh, I didn't have mana anyway. It's... Yeah, nice. Just hit Shaw twice or something. Fish fight. I love that voice line. Ba -ba -da. So that's 22. 25. Wow. Cool. Okay. Uh, Alright, guys. I gotta go. That's how a lot of Hearthstone dreams end. Dead to pirates. <laughs> <laughs> Dead to pirates. Yeah, that's gonna be a terrible matchup for this deck. Again, it's just too consistent. Like, yeah, technically high, lower power level than something like Demon Hunter or or Druid, but just no gaps, no world to like squeeze into and exploit. Uh, you know, an opportunity. You just kind of get stuck. So anyway, I'm gonna go. I gotta go hang out with the fam, Skillbin's family. Take them to dinner. So wish me luck. Should be fun. Uh, I will see all of you not tomorrow, actually. I'm going to be off this weekend, I think. I'll have videos out uh, Saturday and Sunday, but I don't think I have time to stream. There's, like, stuff going on all weekend. We're doing family stuff all weekend. So, thankfully, we got a couple of good decks today. Both of these were really successful, some cool videos. So, we'll have plenty of YouTube content this weekend. Uh, thanks for hanging out, by the way. Crazy viewership. If you guys had fun, of course, always appreciate the follows. We're getting really close to 100,000 Twitch followers. So... Any follow goes a long way towards that goal. I'm going to try to push for it in May, I think. I'm going to do some kind of giveaway or event or something and see if we can't hit 100K. Should be fun. So, 
Love you all a ton. Uh, sorry if I missed some subs. I think I missed Ghost and Nickelodeon, perhaps. Thanks, guys. Subs. Appreciate it. Thanks again, P-Funk, for the crazy bits today, man. 10,000 bits is insane. Uh, let me find a raid before I go. I forgot to do that. Should have started that. raid before. Should have started that 10 minutes ago. Whoopsie. Professional streamer in the house. Uh, this person says, I'm blonde and I suck at Hearthstone. Well, join the party. Me too. <laughs> We're in it together, at least. So have fun on this raid, everybody. Uh, as always, appreciate you guys supporting these smaller streamers when we raid them. Drop some follows and some subs and all that kind of stuff. And uh, I'll see all of you soon. Thanks for hanging out today. Good luck out there. Thanks for watching. And until next time, game on.